Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, The Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Don't worry, Toby. Just use the force. Like in that film, you know. 365 Flicks Podcast. 365 Flicks Podcast. Come and listen to it right after you finish this podcast you're listening to. It's got Chris and Kevin and a weather guy called Toby. What's the point in a weather report on a podcast I hear you ask? Well, there's only one way to find out. Download every episode that is currently out. And listen to those bad boys right now. It's got Toby Osmond, who is kind of a guest host, but thinks he is the most important part of the podcast. Hashtag not joking. You can find 365 on iTunes, Libsyn, Spotify, and awesome websites like DangerEntertainment.net, Nerdly.co.uk, and Tangent Bound Network. It's like shit in a field. Sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin. Swabs it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with a pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's uncamp cubitus, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian picks his rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget, have a beer, you'll be fine Salty Salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Salty. Language. Hey, enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 401. Coming at you uh, live again. <laughs> Actually, for real this time, when I heard you say that out of pure jest. Yeah, yeah, we decided we enjoyed the gimmick last time, so here we are again. Uh, kind of, because, you know, before we were both contained in all the beers pod studio. Right, that is accurate. Now we're uh, 
how I connected through the tenuous lines of the internet. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know what I've come to realize? What's that? That if we're going to play the intro music, uh huh. I really wish we had it animated. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Because you could have it animated, it could be playing yeah. up here, and then whew, we transition us sitting here like, hey! Yeah. You know? That would be a lot of fun. I think that'd be terrific. Yeah, that, I agree. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. So, does anyone have any animating skills <laughs> out there? Yeah, because, yeah, we certainly need someone else to do that. Yeah, because this guy doesn't. Yeah, I don't know how to do animation stuff. So You know what I just realized, Brian? What's that? I don't know if your audio is going to YouTube. Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know either. I wish we had someone watching. <laughs> this is something I didn't think about. Well, this could be a problem. I mean, I mean I'm going to unmute it. Yeah. What? Okay. Okay, you're there. All right. Beauty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that would have been so like us to do that, too. Just get partway through. Nobody's, you know, in the chat or whatever that warns us. And then, you know. <laughs> exactly, right? Good hour 25 like It just popped minutes. in my head. I was like, you know, I tested everything earlier today, but I didn't have, <laughs> like, anyone to Skype with. Right. So I really need, you know what else I need? What's that? I need a picture of you to put on my camera. Okay. So I can look at the camera. Oh, and not okay. like Because I'm looking at your head on my TV. Yeah. Monitor, whatever. And I'm like, I, like, it looks like I'm blind, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah. I noticed that when I was looking at the, um, the YouTube thing, because it's, the, but it's hard. It, it's like really hard not to. Because I want to, like, I want to make sure everything's going good on the streaming thing here. So yeah. I got to keep it up. Right. Well, what I but think is not... funny is, like, on my screen, you're on the left, I'm on the right, and it looks like we're both facing the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, no, right? Like, we're just the worst anchor people yeah, ever. Yeah. We're just talking to anyone else but each other. <laughs> anyone else? Yeah. Like, oh, man, that's Susan over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you're talking to Susan about me. Oh, you know. Yeah. Exactly. But I mean, I do, I do have to do, you know, debut something that I really, really wanted for last week. Oh yeah. yeah. Do it live. Do it live. <laughs> Man, that's, was that extra loud, or was that just in my ears? Uh, it sounded a little loud, but it wasn't too bad here. So. All right, I'll just take the hit for everybody. If we see blood shooting out of my headphones at some point. Uh huh. It's because for some reason it's really loud in my ears. Right. Also awesome. Right. But yeah, I, if we could have an animated intro. That would be amazing. Yeah, I agree. That would. I be... just don't know dick about animation. Yeah. Do you know what I'm picturing now? Is I'm picturing like, like it's a mixture of live footage and animation, and it's Heno playing the song, you know, and then behind him is the animation, like kind of scrolling by, <laughs> kind of like stop motiony. Uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. Like like we get pictures and we we cut them so it's like Canadian heads. Yeah, basically. <laughs> in South Park, right? That'd be kind of fun. Yep, eating our Croft dinner. Yeah. Croft dinner. Yeah. yeah. Good times. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah. I dig it. Mm -hmm. It'd be good fun. So, so what do you think about this whole uh, this whole doing it live? No, oh, I'm sorry. Do it live. <laughs> live situation. I I I like it. I you know we had a lot of fun last time so. You, you did, know. and I, and you you know you said you got some positive feedback out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I none I of it was about you; it was all about me. But yeah, well, know. that's fine. Yeah, no worries, <laughs> no worries, mate. Like, can you guys can you put a bag over that other guy? I'm like, no, that's rude. I can't do that. It's like I know, uh, like, uh, uh, God, I lost my train of thought there completely. Oh, Thursday is kind of a weird day, but you know my work yeah. schedule so stupid and wonky. Yeah, well, and, you know, and we did tweet out literally minutes before yeah. we went live. Well, I I think for us especially, like doing this because this is a different setup than we did last time. So for us, this is probably fine because you know, you know, we're we're just kind of putting a, a test 
out there, basically. Although, right. we'll see if anybody realizes that by us doing this on Thursday, that they don't have to wait till Monday to listen. That's true. It's, they, it's well, right they won't here. get the crisp. Ref- Actually, they get the one with no ads. This is clearly the better yeah. option. <laughs> yeah, and and since you can play it right off of YouTube, you know, yes. it's right there on your phone. You don't have to download anything. But speaking of that, I think I'm going. I bet you I can off my phone. I can go to our page and I can share this link. What to the actual feed? Yeah, baby. Oh, all right. Yeah, I surely can. Neat. Yeah, I just linked cool. to you know our page basically. So so we'll do this um, on the Twitter machine. Neat. And not as me though, because that would be silly. <laughs> right. You know, no one pays attention to my Twitter feed. Yeah, it's like cool. Four people see it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's that's twi- so wacky. Right? That's twice our normal audience, but you know. It's true. So we'll do that. I'm also going to put it on our face page because people do pay attention to face page as much as I despise it. Yeah, me too. People seem to like it. I, I don't get it. Yeah, I'll never understand it. I, oof. Yeah, I know, right? Oof. <laughs> oof is right. Totally Sorry, I'm, I'm a little distracted. I'm look. See, I'm not used to doing this. I'm used to be able to like be sneaky about shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like pay attention and stuff. Yeah, I can't well, just be like have like be two knuckles deep in my well, face. Let's be honest, you can't. I well, mean, I could. that's up to yeah. you whether or not you want to be two knuckles deep. You know, or three, or th- well, whatever. You know, you go all the way up to your three. wrist for all I care. You know, I mean, three knuckles. That's aggressive. <laughs> Very. So aggressive. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, and, and pretty much anything you're doing, that's pretty aggressive. You know, uh, that's true, right? Yeah. Like you're at the doctor's office, three knuckles, very aggressive, you know, <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you have to go all the way in? Like, I didn't have to, <laughs> but you seemed like you liked it when I got to the second one. So <laughs> yeah, I, the doctor's like, I'm familiar with that moan, but like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> doc, <laughs> right, bro. <laughs> I didn't hear you didn't say stop. Yeah, you didn't say lasagna, which is a doctor's safe word. I was just gonna say, you know, it's not it's not gonna be a good time when you go in and the doctor's like, "So what's your safe word?" <laughs> yeah, like what? As he's snapping the glove what? on his arm or hand. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm dying. Yeah, it happens. It does happen. Um, so I, I mean, this is all completely new to me, right? Yeah, I have no idea how to tell how many people are even watching. It could be because my screen's all minimized and weird because yeah. I'm trying to take up as little space as possible. Yeah, yeah, glad to do you it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but I do recall that when we did this together and we just like hit the, it might be because we're using a, like an app yeah. or whatever, a program that goes to YouTube instead of just going straight through YouTube. Mm. But I don't know. It's like, you know, like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't have a clue. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anywho, let's, we should, uh, I think we should treat this like uh, like our uh, actual podcast and stuff. Oh, yeah? Probably. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, well, how was your week? Or um, less was, than a week, whatever. <laughs> it's been all right. I'm still fighting this goddamn plague. I'm sure no one noticed. Oh, dude, it's, it's the worst, man. Mm-hmm. It's like. God, I just can't seem to get shake it. Yeah, pretty sure you need to start Pick dumping, uh, dumping whiskey in your face. You know that'll uh, something, man. Cure that cough right up. Uh, yeah, I definitely need something in my life. I don't know if I need to, uh, like, move to an, an arid climate yeah. or something, or if I I need to just like shove kitty litter in my my lungs and watch it absorb the moisture. That's not a bad call. Or I, I don't know. It's yeah. brutal, though. Yeah. Yeah, you think, like, okay, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to wake up fine. And you wake up and you're, it's like, you're, like, shucking oysters and shit. That's the <laughs> worst thing ever. Wow. Wow. Aggressively masturbating first thing in the morning, huh? All right. <laughs> That's such a great time. <laughs> yeah. Ah, God, he's shucking oysters again. <laughs> Yikes. Who's oysters? Yeah. Oh, oh! See what, you, see what you did there. Oh, getting all sensual and shit. Well, he'll do that. I know, right? Yeah, 
what sucks is, is like, I tried to, you know, I wanted to get this going as early as possible because, you know, I got to get up stupid time tomorrow because work. Yeah. Noon. And right. man, we ended up running late. Well, by we, I mean me because I was fucking around with this. You know what? <laughs> fucking thing sucks. Goddamn right it does. <laughs> yeah. There was plenty, so much gold in that Bill O'Reilly clip. Yeah. <laughs> Not often. I only I, pulled two samples out of it, but yeah. so much gold. Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah, bro, it's the worst. Yeah, it is the worst. There was quite a bit. Uh, I, you know, I just sitting here listening to you uh, talk to yourself, you know, and walk yourself through <laughs> how you were setting that up or whatever. It was yeah, over like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it sounded like. Almost yeah, like you were pro- speaking tongues. It was pretty weird. You probably thought you were, like, Skyping into, like, I don't know, some sort of Afghani cave or something. Yeah. When we were breathing caved us for a decade. <laughs> I think they sound better, actually. Uh, Maybe, right? Yeah. They don't come. Uh, all I know is it was it was terrible. Yeah. And it's and, still and not like, set up I, the way I, you want it. I like the screen we got going on right now. Uh-huh. But I have so much plans for this. Lucha masks? Be, I, I want it to be so much better. We need Lucha masks. Oh, bro, if we have Lucha masks. That way, El Tigre and uh, Senor Delicioso can do a podcast. <laughs> Indeed. You know what we might need is another camera for when you're like, because I want to do more live, like in the same room stuff. Yeah. So we are not so we don't have like some sort of crazy wide shot. We can have our own. Oh, I don't know, know about that. That sounds terrifying. Know. So we need a producer so they can like do like go back and forth to it. That's be crazy. <laughs> Only if they do it and make that sound. Yeah, that's that. I assume that's the sound producers make. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's that's all they do. I, I really, I really don't know. If I'm being honest. Right. It makes know? sense. Yeah. After all that, I deserve a delicious Oberon. If I'm being honest. Oh wow! All right. Damn. It's the worst, bro. If- I I've wish there was some way I could hear about your thoughts on Oberon. Oh, it's funny, Brian, because I just actually, if, if if you followed the Salty Language podcast, which if you're listening to this now. I hope you are. I hope you are, too. Yeah. Um, if, I put out the uh, the All the Beers trailer on our feed today, which is just me going, hey, guys, I'm going to talk about beer, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. But I did uh, officially put episode like one out, which is all day IPA, of course. Right. Good start. And it should be on Spotify hopefully tomorrow because it's weird. Spotify is weird. Mm -hmm. It's like if you if you upload your stuff, it doesn't go up till the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Which I didn't know about because I'm like searching for it. I was like, well, where is it? So I do. Okay. But it'll be on YouTube and Spotify. Um, Apple. Why does Apple take so long to approve podcasts? I have no idea, but they do. Yeah. I mean, I'm still waiting on Google Play, too. It's pretty annoying. Google took a while um, for, like, when I submitted us to it. I actually, like, for us, Google took longer than Apple did, but I don't know. Like, I remember when Spotify first was like, hey, guys, we're going to do podcasts. It took a while for us to get that approval. Yeah. Well, yeah, because what ended up happening was it, it was finally that Libsyn worked out that deal with them to where you could automatically send stuff to... Spotify. Yeah, well, fair enough. Yeah. Once that happened, it was pretty much all you had to do was just apply pretty much and wait until they told you yes. Yeah. It was like this time I was just, you know, uh, yeah, exactly. I'm like, here's my RSS feed. And they're like, okay, it'll be up in like a few hours. It's like, oh, geez. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Spotify. Right. Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're getting after it, you know, I mean, they're as they should. They're flexing their muscle or their wallet anyway. And, you know, right buying up all sorts of stuff to, uh, you know, I, I was just reading an email a little bit ago that they're already in various other countries. They're already pushing to number one for the, how people access podcasts. I mean, yeah, it makes sense because it's cross platform. Yep. You know, you That's, don't have to have the app. Like I, I use downcast, yeah. whatever, but you don't have to have the, you know, Oh, I've got only got Apple podcasts for Google play. You can be whatever. Yep. Because, you know, when I eventually jump ship off of this hunk of garbage phone and go to Android, I can just listen to everything on Spotify if I really want to. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And it definitely helps that so many people already use Spotify, you know. 
Yeah, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not some upstart company to where it's like, oh, you have to download this new app. It's like, oh, it's already on a lot of people's phones. It's it's, it's Spotify. Yep. Uh, I mean, if you don't have Spotify, you're probably like like a loser or something. (laughs) Wow. I don't know, harsh. Do you hear... um, What's that stupid satellite radio? Oh, Sirius. They bought Pandora. No. Yeah. Interesting. I think they're shaking in their booties with their satellite-based music system. <laughs> Probably, because it's like as I see different, um, like different shows, you know, starting on there and stuff at times, and I'm like, you know, there's so many free podcasts. I don't know if you're getting. You know, you've got to really like somebody to to get serious to listen to a talk show, you know? Right, As much as I love, you know, Norton's comedy and stuff, it's like I get the Chip Chipperson podcast for free every week, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And honestly... Also, I uh, hate Sam Roberts, so I would never get it to well, listen to enough. their show but yeah. i was like if you really know some using your puffball oh your i know microphone afro very sensual. Um, yeah so sensual. um i just discovered and it, i should it makes sense that you know like all their interviews they put on youtube yeah so right why wouldn't you just oh i don't know excuse me don't die of beer breath why wouldn't you just <laughs> Pick it up wherever. Yeah. Instead of the, uh, I don't know, bro. Yeah. I know what it is. Like, they're putting the stuff on YouTube in hopes that they're giving you that little taste, and you're like, oh, man, I want to hear more of this kind of a thing or whatever. But it's, I don't know. It's, I'm, that, that stuff's never really worked on me like that. So, I don't know. Yeah, I hear you, right? Yeah. Well, it's weird. I was reading, um, um, uh, this podcast, uh, email that I get. Uh, and they were talking about how um, there's different, uh, like, what is it? I think the BBC or something is pulling, like, pulled a bunch of their podcasts off of, uh, I think it's off of Google. And they're basically going to have their podcast available. It sounds, I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds like they were kind of putting them behind a paywall. Um, well, they're clearly the British don't know what they're doing. Well, it's not no just our British it's, listeners. It's not just them. There's some others doing it, too. Um, but they said that, you know, upon asking people, people are not big fans of, um, you know, doing that. And I was like, well, of course not. Again, Spotify is free. If you want premium, it's not, but you know, Spotify itself is free. Audible's got podcasts, you know, which Audible's too, I'm not paying 15 bucks a month to listen to Audible's podcast, you know, that's Uh, right. Exactly. You know, but, um. So, so I think that's what they're thinking, though, is that you know how like a bunch of the um, uh, TV networks, you know, don't, they're not part of like different ones pulled away from Hulu, like Comedy Central did, you know, mm-hmm. because they were like, why should we give you the advertising dollars when we can just make our own app and right, you know, get all the advertising dollars? And I think that's kind of the way some of these others are thinking. But I don't know that this is going to work with podcasts as well. I mean, there's so many free ones, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I mean, what would you listen to? The BBC talking about, I don't know, the state of the English channel. Yes. And like, you know, the roundabouts and whatever sure. they talk about in England. I'd listen or to that. delicious sounds of salty language. Uh, both. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Brian. Huh? What? It, it's you and I. It's true. More seductive than sex. <laughs> right? Yep. I agree. I agree. Just saying. Like, I get it for, well, you I, know. I, I can actually read my sound effect button. <laughs> <This is great. laughs> yeah, I bet. You know, it's like, I get it with some podcasts. Um, you know, like when they do the paywall, like, you know, something like uh, Hardcore History or Marin yeah. or whatever. I get it, you know, because it's, it's just an additional revenue source. But to only right. have your show on one, I don't know, that bugs me. But it's like even Comedy yeah. Central, they've got a channel on Sirius, but they put out podcasts. You know, like right. the You Up with Nikki Glaser one, they, they put out one a week where she does a summary of the week. And they play little clips from each day's episode. 
Right. You know, and it's, I, I mean, yeah, I would listen to all two hours probably if I had serious, but I'm not going to get serious just for that, you know? Why so serious? Exactly. But we'll get to that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, we'll see. You know, the whole podcast thing's and you know, evolving thing. But it's like, I think it's weird that, like, you know, you got a co- couple companies that are like, there's another one. What's it called? Um, oh, I can't think what it is now. Like um, uh, Trevor Noah, and I saw some other people have got podcasts on it, but it looks like it's like an app you pay for, like a monthly service kind of thing for. Well, it, they're probably know. banking on like, oh, celebrity status. So for yeah. sure we can get people to pay for this. Right. You know? Which I'm surprised um, Podcast One didn't do that already. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? As much as they <laughs> love sure. ads, yeah. Yeah. I mean, can you Absolutely. imagine if Podcast One was like, hey, if you get the Podcast One app, you know, and pay X dollars a month, no ads, people would be like, holy shit, thank God. You know, like. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah, like I'll, I'll absolutely do that. Yeah, because this way, instead of it being a four-hour podcast, it'll only be an hour because I won't have your ads to listen through. Right, exactly. Criminy. But anyway. Crime. Criminy is right. Yeah. I just, I think it's weird, you know, like I said, you got Spotify basically working on, like, here's free podcasts, and at some point they may have an additional premium tier for podcasts only, who knows, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, for sure. Probably not, they'll probably just, you know. I I mean, if, if, if people want to have a paywall, which I mean, I know we're, you know, we're loud and proud, we're free, free, we're like hippies, we're so free. Yeah, kind of. You know, Mm -hmm. dirty unkempt armpits whole yeah. situation you're right on all that yeah i mean the yeah, difference sure. between us and hippies is if you were like you know throwing hundred dollar bills at us we'd be like awesome and we'd probably be fist fighting each other cleaning them up so uh, yeah for sure yeah mm-hmm. definitely yeah but um like i i can almost like i more get the paywall where it's like here's like 20 episodes for free yeah and then if you want to go to listen to back ones mm-hmm. okay then yeah like I said, like Marin does that and stuff. And I, and even though Marin's making, I'm sure a very nice living off of his podcast. Um, I, you know, I, I don't mind it as much because, you know, especially from our side of things, it's like, you know, that hosting costs money. Yeah. Right. You know? So as a result, you're, um, you know, and, and like I said, even though they're making good money and stuff, it's like, they, there's still a cost, especially as you have more and more and more, you know? Yeah, yeah. Podcast and bandwidth usage. So and all that stuff. Right. So I don't know. Yeah. I know, right? Uh e- e- okay, but well, but you know what I discovered this week? Uh no. Um, okay. Yeah, you know, I've always April Fool's Day used to be something I enjoyed. It was like ugh, trick gum and fucking well whoopee cushions filled with gravy, whatever. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> What? Let's have fun. Let's party. <laughs> All right. Shucking oysters. But what I don't like yeah. is corporations on April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah. They're so bad. They're so – like, okay, you know me, you know me, Brian. Mm-hmm. There's one thing I'm a fan of. It's like founder's beer. Oh, I thought you were going to say corporate shilling. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. for sure. <laughs> but they, they put up a thing on April oh, Fool's. Yeah. And, and it's like, oh, which beer are we going to make next? Mun Bean or like BLT or something stupid. Yeah, they were terrible. Yeah. It's like, and I just get so, every April Fool's. Why? Did they, why? See, I think part of the problem is it. in order for something to still, to get people to be a joke like that it, or to prank them, it has to yeah. have some semblance or potential for truth, Right. Yes, We've seen, but everyone sees it coming on April 1st. Well, that too. But also, look at the two flavors they picked. I, Founders isn't making that kind of stuff. No. There are breweries that if they posted that, I'd be like, they might be making this. Like, right. you know, like, because uh, we've seen some weird shit over the years, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, 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 like, I was more fooled, even if Founders posted that, if it was like, I don't know. October 2nd. <laughs> I'd be like, what? You yeah. know? <laughs> we got you. But April 1st, it's just like, I just get annoyed. Like, I just yeah. I wanted to throw my phone across the room. Yeah. I love um, 
James from the Obscure Gentleman. Um, I, I may not be, I'm, I'm, I may misquote this a little bit, but he posted a tweet that was something like, um, good morning. And the other person says, I don't believe you. And it's basically a, you know, it's an April fool's day thing because that is literally how I approach the day, you know, Yeah, right. is pretty yeah. much anything anyone says, especially like corporates and all that stuff. It's like, no, stop it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no, I, I don't. It could be a dead serious thing, and they're not even thinking. Yeah. Like, they put out this press release, like, oh, God, April Fool's, what were we thinking? Yeah. I'm not taking anything serious that day. No. The ones I hate more actually end up being the, you know, the people who do the, you know, I'm pregnant bullshit. And, um, oh, God, what was it? There was another one that. Well, like, I saw one online that was, it was just captioned, it didn't go well. And it was a ring box, and that with a note, and it says April Fool's. Ah, uh, okay. So, you know, do the old proposal, and then it's just like, oh, actually, I'm just here to crush your heart. See, yeah. No big deal. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's not funny, you know? like No, I don't, it's, it's neither yeah. fun or funny. No, exactly, yeah. It's like, you're, you'll be lucky if that person doesn't punch you, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly, right? And, and rightfully so, you know, if, if I'm judging yeah. that case, I'm like, nah, they, you know, they fully had the right to hit you in the head with a brick. You know? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. April Fool's. Here's 87 stab wounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a joke. Yeah. It It is even worse now with social media because, you know, every every uh, business wants to have the, uh, the witty account. And then they also yeah. want to, you know, oh, April Fool's type things. And no. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm sure every like a corporation company, whatever feels like they need to do something. Yeah. You know? Yep. I mean, I, I guess take more, the I, theory I on respect it for the ones that don't. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess unless you're, you're a subscriber to the, you know, any, any press is good press. I, mean, I guess, you know, that ain't worse, know. but yeah, I don't know. I'm still waiting for a press to notice us. Yeah. I know. We should do something outrageous. We should like, Oh, we, speaking of outrageous. I want to talk to you about this since we're doing this are live. We, are shit, we right? about to talk about Gem? Gem is truly, 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 truly outrageous. outrageous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, would you? Probably. It, it's a cartoon, dude. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? So, you remember that bar that you know? I'm like, uh, like I'm going to call myself an owner of. Okay. That I backed on the. Yeah. Owned by former enthusiast guys, Steve Weary. Yes. I kind of feel like you and I should go there. He'll be like, hey, Steve Weary, remember us? And he'll be like, no. <laughs> we'll be like, okay, well, we interviewed like you like four years ago. Right. You no. Know? That's pretty accurate. But yeah, it is. But we should. I, how do you feel about maybe doing a podcast there? I don't know about all that. Have Steve <laughs> sit down with us and shit? I don't know about all that. It's, I mean, maybe, you know. Yeah. Maybe I just want to know because it because it would be like a thing. Yeah, but we're getting crazy. I'm like I'm trying to you know we need to. So I want to the language to take over Toledo and then Ohio and then the world. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Makes sense. Something I mean, like there is no vaccination for us, so. No, this is very true. Yeah. Very very true. Right. I like this. I don't know. I just want to throw it. I, I meant to throw it out to you when we were just setting up, but I was too busy dealing with, uh, well. Fucking thing sucks. You know, that program that I'm fucking around with. Yeah. That you're in love with. I really think it's going to be amazing <laughs> if I can figure out the ins and outs of it. Right. It's going to be amazing like if you ever get it to work. Yeah. yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's like, it's like having a, a shitty car. Yeah. You got to like, ah, you know, you got to hit off a hammer and you got to, <laughs> you got to tweak it here you're, and you got to, you know, that, get it to start. You're, you're Al Bundy with his Dodge. <laughs> Accurate. Yes. Because he thinks it's the mighty Dodge and everyone the mighty else Dodge. goes, eh, no, I'm sure this, it, it actually, you're right though. That program does look like it'll be pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's really cobbled together right now, but I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> cobbled together. It is pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, Brian, this fucked me up. 
I have an adult in my house now. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty uh, weird. I thought about that the <laughs> other day because actually um, – trying to think who it was somebody asked me like when your birthday was and when i said it and i was like because i was thinking about the date and i'm like which means logan is 18 today because it was on his birthday and i was like wow Uh, so yeah yeah my son turned 18 i have a a, a, there's another full-grown man in the house now not even i mean yeah i still take him right but And, and your son there's just yeah. some random grown man in your house now. <laughs> I, I, it's it's weird to think though. You yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Like uh, I don't know. It's bizarre. I mean, yeah. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, nothing's changed. Yeah. But it's exactly. still weird. Yeah. It is when you, you know, like, start if, thinking. Like I can send him out to give me porn if I want. You you haven't. I mean, why would I? Oh the yeah, internet. internet. Yeah, that's true. You can have him go buy you cigarettes now. I could. You Finally. could go buy me cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And lottery tickets. And lottery tickets, you're right. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's just weird, though. Yeah. I mean, my Wait. ultimate goal with him was just to be old enough to drive so he could pick us up from the bar, you know? Yeah. it's. I mean, I you know, <laughs> it's when I conceived him 18 years ago. Yeah. That was my thought. Right. I'm like, I don't know what Uber is right now, mm-hmm. but I'm going to make it a thing right, right here. I need, I need a designated driver. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, I don't know. It's, it, the whole well, one, it makes me feel old as fuck. Yeah. Mm. Two, it's like a guy. You know, the place I'm working at. There's some youngins that work there. One of the dudes is 19. I'm like, man, if my son acted like this dude, I'd be putting him through. Well, it'd be like F is for family. I'll put you through a fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> be every day with that guy. Right. You know, it's funny you mentioned how that makes you feel old. And, uh, like, for the most part, you know, when people do the, you know, can you believe it was this long ago? And I'm just like, yes, because I know how math works. But but it's funny because, you know, like, for most people, it's like you. They would have their their kids, (laughs) you know, when they age, you know, they go, wow, my kid's this much. Or maybe a younger sibling or something. And, you know, I don't have either of those things. So. Um, yesterday I read that it was 30 years ago to the day that Ken Griffey Jr. debuted in the major leagues of baseball. And I was like, Whoa, (laughs) holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) A baseball player debuting is what made me feel old. (laughs) Yeah. Fair enough. (laughs) But like Leah kind of got me today because she was like, just think dad, two years, I'm going to be driving. And it's like, Oh God, (laughs) not if I can help it. No, (laughs) exactly. Like, come on, self-driving cars. When you're in a, whatever, I can't even think. Yeah, Yeah. I don't know, man. Right. The fact that my kids are getting old is a bizarre world. Yeah. Perfect. I'm still young and whatever. Yeah. Spry. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Spry. Spry, he says. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (sighs) So I went to, um, yeah, I mentioned on here a while ago that, you know, my doctor was like, hey, you, you know, go give blood because it'll, you know, help you get your. He uh, also said go hit the weight room. <laughs> yeah, he did. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I probably missed the window on that one. But. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Brian. You had a chance. I know I did. <laughs> I could have made it. I could have been somebody. Uh, it'd be great if we fired up the video feed and you just got this like <laughs> swole ass neck. Uh, like, right. What the fuck? And that's it. <laughs> just the neck. <laughs> yeah, just the neck. <laughs> because I needed to support my head. Uh, <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, you probably have a swole eyes neck already. Yeah. That goddamn Easter Island domer <laughs> up there. <laughs> yeah, accurate. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, we, um, I realized that there was a place fairly close that was doing a. Um, they were hosting a blood drive yesterday, so my brother and I went over uh, to do that and. I was on um, the Red Cross's website the night before, and they were like, hey, you know, use the rapid pass or whatever so you can, you know, already answer all the, you know, do you engage in risky behaviors? Are you carrying AIDS? You know, those kind of things. Um, Right. And, you know, so after answering yes to all those things, I – no, I'm kidding. Uh, So I went to, um, you know, I get this thing, and it, it gives you like a QR code. So when you go in, they can just scan it, and you don't have to do the paperwork baloney there. 
be, it'd be great if they gave you a fun wristband, like you're at Cedar Point with the that like, would be awesome. know, yeah. fast lane or whatever pass. Yeah, right? You just picture there's this long line of people, and you're like, ha, suckers, I get to go first. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, and? <laughs> I get the clean needle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the one clean needle. Yeah. <laughs> suckers. Later, bitches. <laughs> Enjoy the hiv. Um, so we get there. That you know, uh, one person helps my brother. They like you have to go sit down with like a nurse. Basically, they ask you a couple other right. questions, and then they have to test your hemoglobin count. Um, you know, by stabbing you in the finger, which is funny because that hurt worse than anything that happened. Um, really? Yeah. It was, Fascinating. Yeah. Um. So, anyway, so I get all this, and I look over at one point, like, right before I'm done, and I look over, and my brother is already, like, almost hooked up. Did and he I'm, not have the fast pass? He did not have the rapid pass, and I'm like... The fast pass is bullshit. It's bull- It's all a lie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, it was, it was, all it was was the person that uh, he got was just faster than the one I got, so, you know. It sounds like bullshit, bro. I know, I know. I had the rapid pass. I should get the fast person, you know? Exactly. They should be racing. Ah, Exactly. They should be racing ahead of time to see who's fastest. And then when I walk in with my rapid pass, it could be like, go, and it should be like a pit crew. I should be in and out of there in like two minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I'm no more walking in. They already are yanking blood out of me, you know? (laughs) Yeah, for sure, right? (laughs) Worry about the paperwork later. Yeah, 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 I'm down. That would be perfect. Yeah, uh, but it was. It really was no big deal, though. You know, it only took like it took less than ten minutes, I think, for them to pull the blood and all that. Did you get the so, orange juice and cookie and all that situation? No, they didn't have orange juice. Uh, they had apple juice though. So you should have just brought a beer. Like I got this. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Just <laughs> sit down and crack open its uh, uh, big dumb hams. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're like, sir, you, you, you really, you're like, nah, it's cool. I got another one. Yeah. I'm going to feel these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So go raise I get blood, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For that quick, quick boost. <laughs> oh man. Now they had, they had apple juice or water and then they had a variety of snacks. I chose fruit snacks cause I'm a big boy and Ooh. yeah. They were actually. Give me a juice box. Yeah. Well, no, it was a can of juice. I didn't even get a juice box. Oh. But... Be sweet yeah. if it was a juice box. Yeah, I asked the guy if they had Capri Sun, but he said no. He said they didn't have well, that kind of budget. <laughs> I, need, I need an honest answer here. When's the last time you had a juice box? Oh man, um, yeah, it's been a long time. I, I can't remember the last time I had one, but mm-hmm. I know it was one of those things where I would, wherever I was. I like shamefully drank it. <laughs> oh, I won't because it's like I open up the fridge. And I was like, oh, fuck, juice boxes. Yeah. And I just, like, like, like shotgunned it, basically, because, yeah. you know, it wasn't supposed to be drank by me. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd, I'd totally, totally be all over it. I don't I don't care, man. It's like, you know, as soon as I saw yeah, that. Apple juice gives pamels and migraines, much like everything else. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Um, <laughs> yeah, as soon as I saw the apple juice, though, I was like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have me some apple juice. So, Fuck yeah! So I, like I said, I had apple juice and a and a um, and fruit snacks because I was a big boy. So big boy, yep. <laughs> yeah. Did they give you a sticker? <laughs> no, actually, they didn't give us stickers. They had them and they didn't give us any. But I did get well, a, You should have burned the building down. Hold on, because I got a medal. A, a medal? Yeah. How much blood did you give? Eh, that's none of your business. No. <laughs> I'm trying to unwrap this for anyone listening. See? Holy shit. It, and it has like a ribbon? Yeah. Of course it has what? a ribbon. That's what you do with, with medals. You wear them around your neck so you can brag. It's true. Yeah. You, you know what you should do is you should wear that and get like an old, like, you know, go to an antique store and get an old, like, World War II style helmet. So whenever <laughs> we play Battlefield, you can get your helmet and your medals and stuff. <laughs> I was thinking that every time I give blood, I should wear that. And if they give me another one, just keep. <laughs> yes. So yes. I go in with like 70 of them on at some point. Walk in like swimmer dude whose name eludes me currently. Michael Phelps. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. Fish boy. Yeah. Walk in like fish boy Phelps. Right. With his 28 medals. Yeah. Yeah. So I guarantee everyone called him fish boy. In high school probably still do yeah probably mm. 
<laughs> wow, I can't. I mean, the metal's kind of cool. I'll be honest. I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. I kind of want stickers sticker. from chumps. Metals is for fucking I mean, champions. But, but why couldn't I have both? They had a huge roll of stickers. <laughs> they wouldn't have missed one. They should just, you know. I should have just stolen the roll of stickers. Old, old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Nothing helped you sleep better at night than uh, um, stealing from the <laughs> Red Cross. You know. Oh man, it makes me feel good every time. <laughs> so good. Yeah. I know, right? I, yeah. Take that, Jesus. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't know either. So here's what I found funny yesterday. Yeah. Was the reason I was told to go give blood is because my right. hemoglobin count was, what did I tell you before? Do you remember? It was like 17. It was something stupid. Yeah. and Yeah, it was 17 because yeah. I think the doctor said when it gets to 18, they start to like, eh, you know. Yeah, yeah you give basically have caramel in your blood well i mean <laughs> thick delicious caramel what do you think makes all them rocks i piss <laughs> it's true it's they're really like little sh- they're like sugar cubes now yeah flavor um, crystals right <laughs> i don't think anyone wants those <laughs> um worst food crystals ever yeah is someone's about to put some icebreakers in their mouth right now and be like eh, never mind you know never mind this suddenly tastes like dick yeah yeah <laughs> I mean, let's be fair. It always tasted fresh. like dick, you know. You yeah, just you're just thinking about it now. Oh yeah. Quite so accurate. so she does the you know the finger stab and you know test my level there, and she goes, "Uh, your hemoglobin's at seventeen point five." And I'm in my head, I'm going, "I hope I don't know if there's like a limit to where you can't give blood if you're which I'm because I'm sure there's some number, you know, right." Um, and at first she's like, oh, she's like, as long as you're over 13, basically, whatever, you know? So we're like, cool. She goes, you have, you're at 17 and a half. And I'm like, Ugh. I was like, yeah. And she looks at me and goes, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome is what she said. And I'm like, okay. And apparently they, one of the things you can have done there is you can donate what they call power red. Which I believe I might be getting this wrong, but I think it's where is that they like muscle piss. No, like no. Did you drink? I mean, since it's coming from me, probably. But you yeah. know, I mean, Power Red is as it's it's kind of a side effect of muscle piss. <laughs> you know, you know what else it sounds like? What's that? It sounds like a shitty eighties like Russian bad guy. Power Red. Power Red. Actually, it's my my eighties hair metal band. It's just power. Oh, that's sick. But we do everything with, you know, a Russian accent. So naturally, but our singers from Russia, so it's not racist. Yeah. (laughs) Oh man. So uh, anyway, so she, she was like, you know, telling me about this power rest of it. It, I think she said something like they cycle your, um, they give you back your red blood cells and they take the, um, was it the platelets and something else from it or whatever? Um, and apparently they have a, they have trouble, more trouble getting that than they do blood because, you know, uh, I guess most people don't have, you know, caramel running through their veins like I do. Yeah, exactly. So she's like, we don't have the machine here. She's like, if we did, I would pretty much beg you to donate that instead. And I was like, all righty. And she's like, in the future, you should really consider this. And in my head, I'm going, well, the point of me giving blood today is actually to get that number down. <laughs> right. So, you know, I mean, hey, listen, what's what's it worth to you, though? I mean, Linda? Well, they don't they don't pay you for I mean, if you want to get money from that stuff, you got to go to a plasma bank and roll. It's the always dice. sexual favors. Eh, that's true. Well, then Just I got to Then I got to change my questionnaire. You know? mm, so, accurate. Yeah. There goes that risky behavior situation. Right? Yeah, it's no good. Yeah, there's no one riskier than a Red Cross nurse. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, <laughs> filthy animals. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did laugh that. Um, at one point, uh, when she was done, she you know clamps off the the tube and whatever, and clamps. Yeah, and she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna." She's like, "I don't want to freak you out, but I'm gonna put the bag of blood." on the the table next to you and i'm like okay and she's like and i was like i yeah blood doesn't bother me i'm i'm good and she was like oh okay she's like because apparently early in her career uh right. she didn't tell someone she was going to do that and then when she did the person freaked and kicked the bag basically 
and, and it, <laughs> what? Yeah, and I guess when it hit the floor, it, somehow it, it 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 became compromised. So, you know that they just had to throw it in the trash at that point, or just drink it, it, whatever. Be great if you kicked the bag and an impromptu hacky sack game started. Right, that'd be fun. <laughs> what would be great is if you just see somebody grab grab one of the bags and just hit it in the side with their key and shotgun. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> like, huh? I didn't expect that. Like, wow. Huh. All right. Vampires do exist. Yeah. Check uh, that man for sparkles. Yep. No sparkles here. No sparkles here. Yep. So yeah, that was you know. Really easy. If if anyone listening has never given blood and, you know, like you're afraid of it or any of that kind of stuff, don't be. It was so freaking easy. Um, you know, it's like the injection in your arm's no different than any time you have blood work done, you know. Right. And although, they said that it's pretty common for people to feel uncomfortable during the process. I never did. I never felt lightheaded. I um, you got that power red. I You're right. I was like, Whoa. yeah. Um, but I did feel like super Saiyan in there, right? The only thing I felt was, um, the best way I can describe it is I felt like, you know, like when you're first getting tired, how you can just kind of feel your energy level drop a little bit. Oh, I'm super familiar. Yeah, I figured so. So (laughs) I can't wait till we're live and I'm doing this. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's going to be great. (laughs) (laughs) Is Tony having a seizure? Nah, he's just falling asleep. Nah, he's just tired. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's about how I felt. It was just like a little weak, you know, but that's it. Right. N- nothing else. So mm. then, you know, once I, you know, powered up with apple juice and fruit snacks, I was, I was good to go. Dude, breakfast yeah. champions. Yeah, it was, yeah. It, yeah. I didn't eat a whole lot before I went because they say not to, apparently. So I you was, shouldn't walk in there if I got like a whole hot and ready, like, like half dude, devoured. Right. No, no. Just. You just, what would be great is while I'm in there having a pizza, like time it so it's delivered while I'm there and then just house <laughs> yeah. it over in the little snack area that they set up. <laughs> exactly. Pizza in like a two liter. Yeah. Like, Good Lord, this dude's an ant. No, 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 no. Not a two liter, a sixer. <laughs> nice. A sixer yeah. of uh, uh, big dumb hams. I'm telling you, if a pizza place could also deliver beer, gold mine. Yeah. I know. I How think there's. Thing? I think there's some some places that can, because they're like right next door to the bar base or not bar, but uh, like liquor store or something. I'm just saying. I know. I want. I want this as bad as you do. I mean, going local, but up in Dundee, Michigan, because mm-hmm. I know. I know it's a sign. The last time I was up there, yeah. they have a Papa John's that advertises beer as well. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, saying I don't know if they have like a dine-in situation. Yeah, because like Pizza Hut used to serve beer, but that was right. only at the dine-in ones. You know, like you couldn't call up and you know, hey, I need a couple, you know, thin and crispies and you know, six or ten beers. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if there was a situation where you could be like, bro, large pizza, breadsticks, and I need a twelve pack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, that seems like a that seems like the right move. Yeah, I agree. Well, that's why I said, you know, it's, I, I, you know, that would have been great for me after that. You know, what was funny is I was, I was hungry afterward and they do tell you to, you know, to eat because you got to start, um, rebuilding the iron in your blood. Um, because you know, iron was it iron helps the oxygen move throughout your system or whatever it is. So, you know, uh, science mumbo jumbo. I guess it's important or something, but yeah, my brother stops the game. Next thing you know, you're going to be telling me Earth's round. Well, <laughs> Ugh. it's round the sun once a year. <laughs> um, hurt, hurt, hurt. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that my my question, you know, I I almost called them back because they were like, if you if any you know anything happens that you need to change your questions, you know, call us back. And afterwards, I did eat a. Um, uh, deli sandwich from Speedway. So I did make wow, quite that's, that's risky. risky. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing they got that blood first. No, do you know what I did? I, I went with the smart move. They had one that was like, um, it was like pepperoni, salami, and something else. And I was like, uh, all cured meats, you know, that way there's less chance of it just being horrible. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> You're still dancing with the devil. Nah, in the pan of all that salt in there will kill anything off. It's fine. No, nah, it was. I mean, it was fine. I don't know, man. 
No, because I'm, I'm pretty sure like the last time I had a a gas station deli sandwich because sometimes desperate times yeah call for desperate measures. which is what I was yesterday I needed to eat yeah something. I think it was like 45 minutes later yeah my <laughs> my colon's like surprise motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying uh, yeah problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah it can be. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Nah, it was fine. It was. It was okay. Fine. Fair yeah. enough. I will say this. It's not like, and I know the one you had's probably along these lines too, but it's not like the ones like when we were growing up to where it was literally like wrapped in plastic. You know? Yeah. Looked like somebody rolled it in the back room probably or made it in the back room, you know? Yeah. Birdie Soccer kicked it into a, like oh, a Reynolds wrap box. Seriously. Probably keep the tuna fish in their underpants, you know? Whatever. Oh, gosh. <laughs> if anyone eats gas station tuna fish. <laughs> right? Whatever you get, you deserve. Oh, fuck. What was it? On Futurama, the one episode, Fry eats a gas station, I think it's egg salad sandwich. <laughs> and then he um, has um, a, a basically a colony of, or these, like, uh, worms that are in his system that make him, like, the ultimate person kind of thing. So it's it's a fun episode. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. You like, can manage to find a sandwich. Yeah. But... <laughs> You know, yes. Like that was the stuff I just seriously. Just gas station entrees All right, look, should not be offended. Here, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, I never understood. Like okay, I, I don't know if I've ever been to one of those. That yeah, probably has. that's a Pennsylvania thing, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I never understood people that would go into like the gas stations or whatever and get tuna, egg salad, chicken salad. You know, like any salad sandwich. I'd be like, nope. <laughs> I just no nope. like you know if I'm forced to eat gas station food yeah. I'm I'm grabbing like cheese sticks, almonds yeah you know stuff that's not have doesn't have like mayonnaise on it. Listen, Tony. Meats. Listen, that's the difference yeah. between you and I. The way you get muscle piss and power red is you fucking take chances in life. <laughs> that's true. That's true. You're like the evil can evil. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it it was not a great sandwich. Uh, you know, I can't imagine. No, but I mean, it. You know, it did the job. So, whatever. I, mean, I guess. Yeah. I would have. You know, you should have punched your brother in the face and demanded he take you elsewhere. Yeah, you're right. I should have. Anywhere else would have been fine than speedway sandwiches. <laughs> I don't know. There's worse places. I've been to worse places that that have food, and you're like, eh. <laughs> so. I'm just saying. Yeah. At least it wasn't a roller <laughs> a roller dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I've, I've never partaken in the roller dog. No, me they, either. I, they always just look, look too suspect. Yeah, they, yeah, that was the yeah. thing. I, they always just look too gross. Like they, you know, yeah. like they're overcooked or whatever. It's like, nah, I'm good. I like it when they came up with other roller foods. Like, oh, we got taquitos oh. and or whatever they call them. Like, oh, fucking tornadoes Fuck or you. whatever. I'll eat some taquitos. It's just like I don't know. I just can't roller food. I can't trust. Yeah. Like for all I know, <laughs> Billy Jim Bob. Billy or whatever mm. behind the counter in the middle of the night's rolling his dick over that thing because it feels good. <laughs> I hope so. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, if you're working the overnight shift, you deserve a little joy. You know, it's yeah, it's a little pleasure in life. It's terrible. I just I don't know. Just, like I said, gas station food. Yeah, the exception of snackies should yeah. not be a thing. Yeah, you're probably. And right. I've seen so many people load up on that shit. What about donuts? Donuts okay? Because they're always brought in. They're never made there. Yeah, I mean, I've had some, I, you know, because, you know, I'm a savage. I've definitely had some gas station donuts. Yeah. And you it's know, like you take, take that first treatment. bite, and you're like, God, when was this baked? Eight years ago? Uh, well, you, Some of them are pretty bad. Yeah, you got to get there at the right time of day, too. I mean, it doesn't help if you're walking Fair in enough. at, like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Usually they're pretty awful by then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, donuts, are, donuts get a pass. Okay. I I'm talking, so. like. Like, I'm not walking in there and getting a, an egg, cheese, and sausage sandwich. Come on. You know, if it's breakfast time and I'm like, I, I got to eat. You don't even have to do that anymore. They have breakfast pizza now. Oh, gee. I love breakfast pizza, but fuck <laughs> off whoever's doing that. <laughs> yeah. I, I had just, some. <laughs> while I was standing in line, I saw the sign for it. I had some dude trying to convince me that Speedway pizza was pretty good. It's not great. Yeah. And I, I kind of wanted cheap. to That's you know, what take them to Speedway, douse them in unleaded. And, yeah. You know. Actually, it's not even really cheap anymore because um, because hot and ready's exist, you know, for like 
because it's like two pizza, two pieces of pizza. Or what was it three thirty three? I think it said yesterday. Oh, it's halfway to Satan. Yeah, so it's like yeah, I might as well just grab. I think they you can get a whole pizza from them for like seven bucks or something. But yeah, what's the if I'm gonna eat shameful pizza, I'm just gonna get hot and ready. Yeah. <laughs> if I want to feel bad about myself and damage my insides, yeah, I'll, I'll spend five dollars. No, I understand. And, and, all I, my self respect. I understand. If you if you want rocket diarrhea, I want it for the, you know from Little Caesars the way God intended. You know exactly. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get a couple extra packets of Parm. I'm gonna get some red pepper flakes because I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to like wow. chef that shit up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm still gonna shit my pants later and cry <laughs> myself to sleep probably. Probably, but it's worth it. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. Speaking that of, is like, well, go ahead. I mean, I have to say. That is sometimes a guilty pleasure of mine. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'm yeah. like, I need that shit sauce. And oh, I know. I, yeah. Uh, there's it some about never, it. It never should sound good. There's all this other pizza. And I don't even mean like local plates. There's just better pizza at a near in price general. point for like a dollar more or two dollars more. But yeah. Yeah. Every so often, dude, that little demon that lives in the back of my head's like, I know. Go get one. Yeah. You know you want it. You think after us having the shop that I would have never wanted uh, Little Caesars ever again because I eat oh, so we, much we, from there. We kind of had the Little Caesars hacks though, like <sighs> get bacon. Like, oh, that true. Shit fresh. Yeah, that's true. That did work. That was yeah. Those were a lot better. Yeah, you don't you don't get that pepperoni pizza that was made at like 10 a.m. yesterday. Yeah, but that's got character, you know. <laughs> it does, dude. It's got it's got a little bit of that pizza patina. Yeah, I don't mind opening the you pizza know? box. It talks to you for a couple minutes. You know, ask you how the yeah. kids are doing. Yeah. You know, yeah. One of pepperonis winks at you. Yeah, like, I mean, hey, I see you, you know? baby. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's make out over here. And then you do because then you do. You're cramming yeah. all of it in your face. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're if you're you know. Anyone that has zero self-respect, you're getting hot and ready. <laughs> you're eating the whole thing. You better be. Yeah. <laughs> you better be. That's not one you bring to share. Because people go, really? You know, it's really? funny, actually. Uh, when I uh, – different bowling leagues I was in, they would have people – ask people to bring food. And there was always somebody who brought, like, four to six hot and readies. Well, if you're bringing four to six, it's a different story. Okay. I mean, because at that point, you're making a business decision. You know, yeah, I ain't trying to pay vetoes. Yeah, if you prices bring a hot and ready, yeah, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Especially if you bring four to six, you at least you know you're like okay, at least they're tr- trying. No, the best way to bring a hot and ready to any situation is to have a piece or two out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That way you didn't even bring a full pizza. You know, it's like bringing yeah. a four pack of beer that's supposed to be a six. You know, right? Makes for a great well, Christmas Brian, gift. If, though. if I was like, hey, come over, we're gonna do, you know, we're gonna do it in our live podcast. I'd be like, I got pizza. You showed up and there's a hot and ready sitting on the table. My lie will smack me in the mouth. I would be shocked, actually. First of all, second of all, I mean, I, I'd probably just eat it and shut my face. So I mean, but one, one hot and ready. Yeah. Oh, just that's one for the two. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. ain't trying to like yeah. leading no the tramp. No one shares that. one hot and ready. If you're buying a hot and ready, that's for you. <laughs> that's right. That's a whole box of shame for yourself. Exactly. Yeah. I hear you. Now it's different if there's hot and ready in a bag, crazy sticks or whatever fuck to call that stuff. Crazy bread, you were close. Whatever. Yeah. Now, now it's like okay. There's an app and an entree. I can get behind <laughs> this. An app and an entree. <laughs> True. Or that cheesy bread that they have. We used to get that at the shop quite a bit too. Because there you go. Get that and ask them. Because you got to mix it up. Yeah. You just get that and have them put like pepperoni or bacon on the top of that. It's funny. I drove by the uh, the old shop today because I was at my bank, which is right up the road from there. Yeah. And. uh that whole building's basically vacant now. Yeah, I saw except that. for that Chinese restaurant. That place will never die, yeah. dude. That place, it, there's never anyone there. I can only imagine they'd survive off a of takeout from those weird apartments across the street. Yeah, I would think so. That place is suspect as fuck. Yeah, because there were plenty of times when we were there, there was like no one in the parking lot. I walk over there, and there's people in there like waiting on food. So yeah, I think you're right. A lot of it. I mean, when we were there, a lot of it came from <laughs> our place. I mean, I imagine the uh, stray cat slash pigeon population oh, in that area is so a little good. on the low side. So good. Is it? No. No. It, I mean, it's not. I've had worse Chinese food. I'll say that. But Yeah, it, same here. Yeah. But it's always, it was a little suspect. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Now, you talk about me rolling the dice. That's where I was rolling the dice. 
Cause, Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'll take an order of questionable fried rice. <laughs> yeah. Well, you yeah. know, it's funny. For a long time at Chinese places, I would only get, like, fried rice. Like, I'd get vegetable fried rice. I don't blame you. Or chicken fried rice because the pieces of the chicken are usually small. So they right. they always are cooked thorough thoroughly, you know? Um and there's less tail. Um <laughs> way so less tail. Yeah, way less tail. So but, we mix in a little bit of lizard meat. Yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's mm-hmm. that's good eating. Oh, right that there. Arizona chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Delish. Yeah. That's why I, lo- I remember, I, I don't know if I've told the story on here or not before, about how, you know, the two kids that were arguing in the shop the one day about that the Chinese place used cats uh, for their food. Right. And I was like, no, they don't. And the one kid's like, how do you know? And I'm like, because if they did, you, I wouldn't be here. I'd be out collecting free cats. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not true. I would, you know, but... <laughs> Oh, geez, my dumb dog is staring at me through my studio door. Oh, I bet she is. She's like, I heard you talking about hot and ready's. Should I let her in? For, well, it's probably going to be a Bell's Let's Talk moment. I don't know, man. Seems dangerous. Oh, boy, he's doing it. Come on, stupid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the party, Snuffles. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I uh, I went to the uh, butcher stash to the can't talk butcher store shop. Wow, talk. you're a butcher freaking... shop yesterday. Yeah, I got her as like this. You know, I was like, "Hey, you guys have dog bones?" Like, oh yeah, in the freezer right there, and they're all enormous fucking bones. Right. Wow, those are some big dogs. So, yeah, exactly. I know, like prehistoric shit. Yeah. Wow. So I so I got her his bone because I, I used to buy these bones from this dude at the farmer's market. He would smoke them. Yeah. So I'm like, I'll just do that. So t- this morning I got up, threw a bone on the smoker, and it's been like an all day affair after it got done and cooled. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah she's she's loving life. Yeah. You know? Makes sense. So who doesn't like know. something smoked like that? You know. Bro, it, I mean, I pulled it off the thing. I was like, goddamn. This looks delicious. I might eat this. <laughs> I know. I was like, I might start gnawing on this thing. Well, because, you know, got that delicious marrow in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See some crackers or something. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, a Sawzall. Sawzall. Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. Got you, doggo. Yep. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, this isn't probably going to be shocking to anyone. Mm. Uh, I, I've come to enjoy watching Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Lately. Mm-hmm. Like Lee and I have been watching that, you know, 24 hours of hell and back on Hulu. Yeah. We plowed through the latest season. So I started watching Kitchen Nightmares from like eight years ago or whatever. Or the Probably longer than that. American one or British one? The American one. Okay. I like the I British ones a lot better because. It, do you? Is it better? It, it's less him just yelling for yelling's sake. You know, and more about, like, actually helping the people. <laughs> oh, fair so, enough. Yeah. I mean, he still yells. Don't get me wrong. There's still plenty of people he yells at. But I don't think, right. he, you know, not like on Hell's Kitchen where he calls someone, you know, a stupid sandwich or whatever. I mean, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Well, he put the two pieces of bread on the side of the woman's head. Yeah, that's one. Of, that's a classic yeah. classic internet thing right there. Yep. Yeah, I uh, I don't know what it is because normally I'm not down for like reality programming like that, but yeah. there's something entertaining about Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, I, I don't know. You just and it's I guess it's kind of cool because it's like something that Lee and I sit down and watch together, so yeah. it's fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you know? it's probably his hair. You you love his hair. His hair's not bad. I'm jealous of it. If I I mean if I if I had delicious locks, I would probably have yeah. a, a, that that British mop top situation yeah. or something. I yeah. I I would love to. That'd be good fun. I'm not mad at it. No. And I can't believe watching the current thing we were watching and then going way into the Wayback Machine. We're both both in there like, oh, my God, look how young he is. We're like, (laughs) I feel like a goddamn housewife. (laughs) Well, maybe you can end up on Real Housewives. Maybe. The the Real Housewives of Temperance. Yeah. That's going to be a real saucy show. All these like hick ass ladies that live around here. 
I would love to see that show because it would be it, ladies, a few trophy wives, and then me. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was gonna say now all of them would be Hicks. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Because you've got to be the last one they show. Yeah, you know? oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Because they start with like the Hicks, then they go to the Trophy Wives, and then they go to you, and everyone's yeah, like, I'm strolling what? In. <laughs> S- strolling in with like a robe on and I pushing pref- a vacuum cleaner. I prefer that you would uh, saunter in. I set up a robe. I'm in an apron. Yeah, whatever. But yeah. The same difference. A robe's way better. Yeah. You could, you could wear yeah. an apron as a robe. <laughs> got the robe out, full chest exposed. Uh-huh, yeah fur and all like who let the grizzly in right and of course you know since you're a dad you you're obliged to wear a a way too short robe oh god yeah yeah Yeah. just a peak of balls you know (laughs) yeah the wind shifts just right yeah like oh god a little that chew bubble gum action (laughs) and the whole point of you on the show is to put you in positions uh you know, to where you have to slightly bend or turn to where it's just yeah, a constant. Pull my leg up and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Naturally. Of course. Like, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, let me grab that for you, bend over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you meant. Oh, son of a. Yeah. <laughs> Get the... Could you not bend over? No problem, deep squat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like someone doing a kettlebell squat, but it's your balls. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, oh, jeez, I was not expecting this from the Real Housewives of Temperance. Yeah, people wanting off the show. <laughs> Immediately, I yeah. win because everyone wants to leave. Yeah, he, is that even a winning? thing? No, the Real it's Housewives? not at all. No, no one wins from they got that show. Off or something. I don't even know. No, I wish. So what's the What's the point of the show? To just show a bunch of drama. That's stupid. Yep. That's, that's... Oh, we're doomed. We're so doomed. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's all right. I figure our deaths will Speaking be of... glorious at least. I hope so. Probably yeah, not. Probably It'll not. Probably be, you know, I'll be watching Netflix of a hot and ready on my lap, <laughs> and then I'll like the meteor hits. No, you won't even get like. What's going to happen is you'll ha- you'll have the hot and ready. You'll be like taking a bite of it. One piece will like you'll get some hot cheese in your mouth or something like that, and then you can't breathe because the cheese just grips inside your mouth. Yeah, over yeah. sticks to my beard. Right. Yeah, that's it, it. Seals up my mouth like fucking Neo in the Matrix. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a terrible yeah. way to go. I love pizza, yeah. but man, that would be a terrible way to die. Even death I don't want to go that way. I mean, I would pizza know. betrays. Yeah, death by pizza is fine, but not not like that. That should probably be a pizza, death by pizza. Somebody's got to have that. It's where it's like a quadruple stack pizza or something. Something stupid. Like it's like yeah. four Supremes tack, you know, stacked on each other. And I don't mean like the singers. Oh man, that's a whole different ball game. <laughs> that's a whole different ball game. I think yeah. I saw a video like that once. Whoa. Rare. Rare. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like pizza lasagna almost, oh, which yeah. could definitely be a thing. I feel like I've seen something like that, but if not, that needs to happen. Yes. Yes. This does need to happen. I mean, I guess really that's kind of like, you know, Chicago pizza. Right. Is, true. You know, basically pizza lasagna. <laughs> pizza lasagna. You ever think of this? Because now, now, now I'm thinking lasagna. Yeah. You, you ever think like you could lasagna all the things, right? Yeah. Like, Like what if you did like Big Mac lasagna? You could, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, are you talking like just cramming Big Macs into a pan? Or are you talking like making lasagna as, like, with Big Mac? just exploded thinking about it. (laughs) With Big Mac ingredients. Like like lasagna style. Okay. But, you know, instead of the the sis and all that, you got, like, your layers of cheese, your layers Mm -hmm. of burger, Mm -hmm. your layers of, I I assume it's Grimace jizz. I don't know. (laughs) It's tasty. That's all I do know. Right, yeah. It's Grimace oysters. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you got the you do the Big Mac layering mm-hmm. without the lettuce because it was recovered in the past five guys. Hot <laughs> lettuce, no bueno. It goes on at the end, maybe. Goes on at the end, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't learn from. Don't follow my lead, no. people. Yeah, you hot sir- lettuce is right out. <laughs> it's right out. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're talking, about, didn't I? I think I titled the episode "Hot Lettuce," didn't I? You certainly did. Yeah. Because <laughs> it made me laugh when I saw it posted. <laughs> yeah. So easy one to go right. find. Yeah. Exactly. Right. But um, yeah, I I, I kind of 
I kind of want to make weird lasagnas all of a sudden. All right. I'm in. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do this. Like, we like, just, I mean, what? We're just going to take, like, favorite dishes of people's, and we're just going to make lasagnas out of them. Like, bro, think about it. Hold on. I got I got one. And I don't mean, like, by epic mealtime standard. Where that's why when I asked you, you, you just meant, like, cramming Big Macs. I don't know if you remember. No, they that's, did that that's hack. Then they put, like, quarter pounders on top of it. and Yeah, it was, yeah that shit's hack. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm talking actual like lasagna noodles. Uh huh. You know? Yeah. Okay, wait, okay, here's what I'm thinking. This, mm. this might get crazy. All right. You know, you get a nice like pod chili going, right? Okay. I'm talking like Coney dog lasagna. Yeah, there's no reason that couldn't work. It, it, you know what? It actually, right? it it's funny because it would be like kind of an in between of a Coney dog and a chili mac, I would think. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And listen, I, That's what I'm thinking, bro. I wouldn't be mad at a chili mac lasagna either. No, chili mac lasagna? Yeah. Oh, I mean, dude, I'm going to get crazy. This yeah. something's going to this something's going to happen out of this. <laughs> oh boy. My kids are going to be like, "What are we eating?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Just shut up and grab a spoon. Dad, I don't think the frosty lasagna was a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, I have had dessert lasagna before. Yeah, it's not that great. Yeah, yeah, you know. But I think weird, unorthodox lasagnas. Yeah, like nothing makes me happier than a Reuben. Okay, Reuben lasagna, bro. Why not? People have done Reuben pizzas, so I know, dude. The best Reuben thing I ever had was a Reuben egg roll. That makes sense. It's fucking oh. incredible. Wasn't it? Oh, it was at uh, Cloister. We had, uh, you, well, you had. I didn't have. Didn't they have like uh, Reuben bites or something? Yeah. Reuben balls, oh, actually. Oh, I think oh, they call them. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Oh, boy. Let's well, let's not do this again. Last time we talked about food on the podcast and we went and ate afterwards. And oh, boy. <laughs> oh, we should definitely cover that. Did by the way. we eat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope you got that in your notes. No, but I think I'm still full from it. I mean, yeah, it was fair enough. Criminy. Um, I'm just gonna let everyone know, and you know, I'm making something fucking crazy lasagna wise. But okay, we're gonna move on. All right, I'll just talk about all these different versions of lasagna. Yeah, we should talk about the, the post podcast situation. Yeah, because I, like an idiot, hadn't eaten the day we did that, and. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, as we were leaving Tony's house, I was like, hey, uh, can you stop so I can get some eats at, you know, Taco Bell? Because I I, I didn't know, like, how you were going to, like, head over here. Because, like, the one way from your house is kind of like, that's about all that's open that time of night. Right. There's pretty much Taco Bell and then nothing until you get here, you know. So, you know, and then, uh, you know, Michelle was like, "Ooh, I, you know, Taco Bell. And then you were like, well, I could eat. How about we go get real food? <laughs> Dude, it, 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 well, it's so funny because we're getting in the car. Yeah. And like, I, you know, I'm driving, I'm heading towards your place. And this is before you're like, hey, can we get some food? Yeah. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, God, I kind of want to go and like go like the fridges to go, go get some eggs or something. Yeah. Well, especially after late. we had talked about breakfast on the podcast, too, you know? Yeah, exactly. But, you know, it was kind of late, and I was like, eh, you know, whatever, I guess, you know. Yeah. And then you're like, hey, do you mind? I was like, oh, and then she said that, and I was like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> well, let me throw my two cents into here. Uh, much better idea. Cause, yeah, we went to the old my house or our house, whatever it is. Yeah. Nice little diner in the sweet little area here. It's open late as fuck, which is perfect. Yep. Boy, you and I were both mm. not not real smart, but at the same time brilliant. So, no, we were real smart. Yeah, we were the smartest, probably. Yeah, probably. You're right. Yeah, we we're looking I'm at the menu, honest. and they <coughs> they had a thing called uh, what was it I'm hungry? I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the I'm hungry. Yeah, and it had yeah a lot of meat. <laughs> and then uh pancakes uh i got home oh, fries dude i got it all locked in I can, okay I can, all right I can go rattle off with the dish. two i'll be pay special sauce lettuce right, cheese so pickles onions and a, oh sorry nice <laughs> <laughs> but you got your three eggs in style right you got your potatoes yep 
you could oh, choose between, and you could choose what was it, home fries or hash browns? I think it was for the potatoes. Yes, exactly. So, so you got your potatoes. You got your slice of ham. Yeah. You got your sausage patty. I forgot. You about got your ham. two sausage links. Yep. You got your three strips of bacon. And really quick, the the you sausage. Got your toast. The sausage you links guys. were uh, deep fried. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, they threw them in the deep fried. Yeah. <laughs> and then, to top everything off, if you're like, God damn, that's a fuckload of food, slow down. Because it also came up with two flapjacks. Mm hmm. God damn, it was good. You know, you know what made the fatal error? You went with the toast. three of us splitting that oh, yeah. peanut butter pie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it was good, but whew. yeah. But I mean that. Uh, oh, man, I don't know if I should have ate that much food at like one thirty in the morning or whatever. I was wondering about that because, like, for me, I knew I was going to be up for a while still. You know, oh, not me. I mean, like, yeah. When I you, thought I was dying when after, you after ordered, I dropped you. I thought I was dead. Yeah. I dropped you off. I was like, this is how I die tonight. <laughs> I had sweats. I you mean, know? you know, it was. Whew. It was good, though. It was a glorious. I mean, it would have been a glorious death. Yeah. That's why I said yeah. the gates of Valhalla were, were open and calling us, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was certainly a warrior's death. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It was good, though, bro. It was good. Yeah. That was definitely I the mean, right so, call. <laughs> yeah, it was the yeah, best call. And it was weird, too, because we, we pulled in and the parking was packed. Yeah. And then the restaurant had, like, one creep sitting in it. <laughs> Did you notice he had his own pitcher of iced tea, by the way? Yes. Yeah, I thought that was weird. Here's what I thought um, was weird about this guy. He yeah, never, yeah. at least as far as I saw, he never looked anywhere but straight ahead. Like, he, they had a yeah. TV on over in the corner. I never saw him look up to the TV. Never saw him look over to the grill where where that samurai was doing his making magic there. And, yes, you know, like, all I saw, he just looked straight ahead. And <laughs> just, it was weird. Never looked in the kitchen with the random shirtless guy with pink hair showed up? No. He probably didn't that, see that guy. That was weird. But that that was weird. We still we should have went over to that I'm, party. Yeah, because apparently the place next door is having a private party, so everyone's ordering takeout from this diner. Yeah, because our our waitress who cracks me up. She yeah, I dug her. Yeah, you know, she's a uh, you know heavy set black woman. Definitely was awesome. Yeah, and I, I what was it? She called them. Them all happy heifers or something yeah something like that yeah <laughs> she was not real impressed i think by all the takeout orders oh she was not and well it made sense because it was like man when we ordered and i looked at the the flat top and i'm like man they got like all this food ahead of us like what three burgers and then he did something like chicken strips and something else before and then i saw him start laying out all that glorious meat and i'm like okay now he's getting to us yeah, exactly. Why? Well, Why well, didn't even realize that thing came with ham? If I'm being honest, but, I, I didn't either. The ham was good. Though. You know, I, yeah, I'm not mad at it because it was nope. delicious ham. Yeah, yeah, it was good. There was yeah. nothing on that plate that wasn't good. Pancakes were fantastic. They were cooked just right. I was, I was quite happy. Yeah, the whole thing was amazing. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely remember that for another late night. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Because those burgers looked legit as fuck. They did, yeah. He was rocking some burgers when we first came in there. He made, I know, like, two of them look like um, probably what most places call, like, a cowboy burger or a barbecue burger or whatever. Had barbecue sauce and onion ring. I don't know what kind of cheese it was on it. Um, right. But, man, they, they looked really good. And the other one was a blue cheese and... Bacon, bacon. situation. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Bacon. Yeah, yeah, which is one of my favorite burgers, honestly. Blue yeah. cheese bacon. I oh, I hate blue cheese so much blue cheese bacon lasagna what <laughs> that's a lot of blue cheese <laughs> so much blue cheese yeah. you blew it uh, he needed the money <laughs> oh hey uh, terrible <clears throat> yeah uh man yeah we definitely gotta do that again though. that was fun oh yeah for sure and tasty for sure yep and, and so tasty. that time of night's perfect too there's nobody in there it was great you know dude honestly that's the because i've been in there a couple times that late yeah and that was the first time it's ever been that. Like, normally you walk in, it's a decent amount of people in there. Yeah. That's why I was kind of like, I, uh, I saw all the cars. I'm like, oh, this is typical. And we're like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I ain't mad at it. That's for sure. No, right? Yeah. Goddamn delicious. Mm. 
I uh, today I I went to a rummage sale. Okay. By the way. On purpose. Was... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, the uh, you know I live across the street from this weird church, right? Yes. And they got like their weird hall next to it, and since I've been living here in this house. About twice a year, they do a rummage sale. I yeah. always wanted to go check it out. Mm-hmm. Granted, at the time, I wasn't really encouraged to go check it out. I was like, I did or did. Yeah. This time, I decided to go. Right. Um, it's just like, uh, it's like looking at just a bunch of shit, man. Yeah. Like, I was kind of excited to see what was in there, and I actually bought a couple. No, I tried to buy a couple of things. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. <laughs> they had a shitload of records, which I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. Bro, it's all, it was so much Christmas music. Right. Old country and not like cool country. It was like, you know, like the best of Scooter McGee. And it was like oh, some dude no in like a chuck wagon like. Rrr. Man, I love you Scooter know? McGee. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then like Christian music. That's sure. all it was. That makes sense. I did buy a record. Oh, tried to buy a record. Pat Boone. I wish. No. It was just called Honky Tonk Piano. <laughs> okay. But all the records were a dollar. Right. And I'm like, dude, I dig Honky Tonk music. You know, it's kind of cool. So I was like, oh, this is my... And I, well, I it makes sense. like that's... one song on it. And that's why he's going to the Hall of Fame this Saturday for WWE. There, there you go. Because he's got the best. Yeah. The hon- Honky Tonk Man. He might have been a... Is, is the Honky Tonk Man's real name Fingers O'Rourke? Probably. Because that's who's the artist yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a guy whose name would be Fingers O'Rourke. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, It's not the Honky Tonk I was hoping it would be. <laughs> that's a statement that I bet is uttered very rarely. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a group of words that aren't put together very often. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's not. I mean, I don't know. I, I gotta, I'm going to listen to whole records at some point just to give it a chance. Yeah. But so, you know, like Lee and I walked over there and they, ha- it was, it's weird. They had a room set up. It was just called the lady cave. Okay. Which I'm like, that's kind of sexual. Like mm-hmm. I enjoy spelunking. Yeah. Like every guy. Sure. Well, not right. every. Yeah. Like a majority of gentlemen. <laughs> right. You know, but so we had to walk, walk through the lady cave. It was like not lady stuff at all. It was like their high end area. Oh, which is okay. weird. It was like the slightly nicer stuff, and it was like everything in this room must be paid for in this room, which I thought was weird. Yeah, I don't know if the proceeds for that go somewhere. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, but the, the it was like I don't know, man. When there's a box, it just has a big printed out sign on that just says "boys underwear." Who's <laughs> buying underwear at a rummage sale? <laughs> I mean, especially Catholic church rummage sale. I'm not, that's probably all evidence. Oh, dude. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, man, that's wow. But there, I, there was honestly a couple things I was hoping to find. <laughs> a, a box full of boys underwear. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I bought, I mean, today Nailed was it. a $2 bag day. You get a, a paper grocery bag, you just fill it up. It's two bucks. I nice. could have filled that bitch out with boys underwear. Right. <laughs> I could have made a killing. That would have been so the, funny to do. Web. Yeah. Yeah, just dump it all in there. <laughs> just keep packing it and roll, you know, trying to get every bit you can in there. Like stepping in it. Yeah, like excitedly. <laughs> like, oh, my God, you guys have boys' underwear? <laughs> or just keep sniffing them. Um, <laughs> yeah, just walk around and just on my face. <laughs> That'd be terrible. These masks are cool, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I was hoping to find, like, an old radio because I want to have an old shit radio out in my garage, like, you know, just pick up whatever, just play some music, and that, not have to bring my Bluetooth out and all yeah, that. You know. Right. Mm-hmm. Plus, where I live, the cell coverage. I'm like a cell bubble of death. Yeah. So once I go outside, streaming's kind of not an option. Right. But um, just got to get a Victrola it, for the garage. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> but so yeah, they didn't have an old radio, but yeah, there was just a couple things. I was like, well, let's just look. Let's look at everything since we're here. Take it all in. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, we'll see what happens. So I found my honk, the honky tonk piano music record. Yeah. And then they actually had this really cool flip top mason jar. Okay. That was like, looked old as fuck. It was neat. It was, it was, it's a really cool jar. It was like a quarter. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's, you know, I, t- I, I went to the bank. I pulled cash out for yeah. a rummage sale. Right. 
Because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I pulled out forty dollars. Well, you didn't know how many pairs of boys' underwear they'd have. I didn't know. I right. know, but I didn't have enough. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I pulled out 40 bucks because I'm like, I don't know what they have here. I don't know what the prices are. Right. And there might be something. You know, you never know. There might be something interesting in there. Yeah. Uh, not very interesting at all. Well, that's so, you know, we go we go to cash out and the lady's like, oh, that, that's it? And I'm like, yep, there's a record in this jar. And she's like, um, okay, well, we'll call it 50 cents. And I went, that's hilarious. Can you break this 20? <laughs> And then she just looks at me. She's like, you know what? Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Meanwhile, so there's probably somebody in the sick ass jar for free. Right. Nice. Just there's on them. There's probably some some uh, church uh, patron that comes in later and is like, has anybody seen my honky tonk piano album? Like, I didn't mean to bring it. <laughs> like, I really, really. I mean, fingers are roar. <laughs> That thing is super rare. It's worth like twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. It's like, oh, it it uh, sold. <laughs> how yeah. much? How much did you get? Uh, uh, <laughs> a handshake. But but the ladies like because like, this is day two of, of the rummage sale. Okay. The ladies like you should just make sure you come back in October and come here on the first day. It's way better. So is there mean, like strippers and, the I mean, first day or something? Beers? Maybe strippers for Jesus? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, I was honestly, there was people in there that had multiple bags full of stuff. Yeah. I I don't know. I was confused because I, I, maybe I'm just a different human, but me walking around, I'm like, there's really not a lot here. To, you know, if I'm just buying this, I'm throwing it out in two weeks. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it's like, what am I doing? Yeah. So I, I don't. No, I, I and when it happens again, I'm going to go back on day one. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Because just because you know, it's better on day one. I got, I got to try to complete my fingers. Or fingers are worth collection. <laughs> right. Yeah. You never know. Maybe someone will have more of it. Right. Mm. They also had a bin of women's underwear too, which oh. is just. I I I'm I don't know about you. I'm never gonna buy secondhand undies. <laughs> no. Nah. That, well, one, and I mean, I guess if it was my fetish, I would. Right. That's fair. But not to wear. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's weird. I just, it's so weird. Well, that's the thing. Like, I don't even think, like, most, like, thrift stores sell undergarments, do they? Or at least don't underpants. Know. I don't know about, like, brassiers, but. I, I don't know. I've never looked. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been in a few, like, Goodwills recently, and I don't remember seeing any. Um, underpants anywhere. So yeah, it was weird, bro. Yeah, like finally they got some thongs in. <laughs> yeah, like geez, about time. <laughs> I, I just I was so confused by the the boxes of underwear. <laughs> like I get the clothes and the shirts, yeah, and the, jacket and the shoes, yeah, and they're like books and VHS tapes. I, that all makes sense to me. Yeah, you're trying to sling old ass underwear. <laughs> You know, it's probably got like like nineteen sixties poo on it, and <laughs> you know, it's, it's probably like someone's like special underwear until they had menopause in there. Oh, oh dude! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, why does this box of undies smell like pennies? <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of pennies underneath them, actually. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, right. yeah, crazy. So... Oh, and period panties. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably. It's just gross. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't. It's so, like, I remember my, my grandma's church does, you know, like a twice a year rummage sale type of thing, too, I think. They used to, anyway. And, I mean, I can't be mad at them because, I mean, I got th uh, Thunder Tank there when I was a little children's. So, That's fucking I mean, sweet. I, I got pan thrown a Thunder Tank, you know. Dude, if I saw a Thunder Tank... Over there now, I'd, what do you think would be like sitting behind me? Yeah, I know. Cool, You'd like, be prop. playing with it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But like, yeah. I'm not podcasting, Brian. I got shit to do. Yeah. I'd be like, dude, I understand. Bro, I got missiles launched out of his palm. No, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Um, because I remember, yeah, because I remember like begging my dad for it because it was cheap too. I think it was only like five bucks or something. And that, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like a $25 type in the store thing. And uh, I would just remember, like, approaching it from the I really want it angle, from the it's way cheaper angle, from. 
Right. <laughs> you got a sales pitch. Oh, Come I did. Him with a little suit on. Yeah. Totally did. And then right and before information. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I had a PowerPoint presentation, you know. Yeah, for sure. Even though PowerPoint didn't exist at the time. Uh, um, you came up. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we all, we all Genius. know. It. Yeah. Um, I just remember like right before we went to leave, he was like, okay, you can get it and hands me the money. And I, you know, probably needed to go through the box of underpants and then go get, <laughs> Right. And then go get the Thunder Tank and Panthro. So, yep. I mean, I don't blame you. Like I said, if, and I looked at the toys because I was like, there might be something cool in here. Yeah. No. Nah. That's just not cool. I'm, that's sad. Yeah. I, I was home for anything. I was like, man, maybe, like, maybe I'll, there'll be like, I don't know, like a bazooka from G.I. Joe or a rubber, or like, rubber bullet gun. <laughs> or a rubber bullet gun. Yes. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, it was a whole lot of disappointment, really. Yeah, that's too but bad. But I missed day one. Yeah, who knows what was there? Who knows? Yeah, you went on... Right, Fabergé eggs for 50 cents. <laughs> right? You went on box underwear day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Jesus Christ. You picked the worst day. <laughs> picked the worst day. Exactly. <laughs> on day Those one, it's all new underpants. Tea. Ooh. Who doesn't want one of those? I know, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, wow. So, uh, yeah, that sounds like a fun experience. Uh, it was some. It was some. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was definitely some. Yeah. I mean, I do like. There's some I do. I, I like looking at other people's shit. Yeah. And you see like old like coffee mugs and old like coffee pots and like I actually almost bought a waffle iron, but I opened it up and it was like whatever coating was on it, and it wasn't like the factory coating. It was whatever they were cooking with was suspect as fuck. Oh my. Because I don't have a waffle. Oh right, right. You no, know, it's 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 done. It's done. Walked out of here. How? Like like Borderlands Three, Guns of Legs. Ooh, nice. Oh, speaking yeah. of, did you see? Uh, did you see? There's a release date on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw it's going to be like six months on PC first. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah, yeah. jerks. Bullshit, no. really. Um, but it but it is releasing on consoles conveniently three days before my birthday. <laughs> How convenient! I mean, I'm just saying, you know, if anyone out yeah. there wants to buy it for me, <laughs> happy birthday, Brian, and stuff, yeah, right? Um, so I like I didn't know they had announced a date for it, and I was in a GameStop yesterday. This big fucking display for it, <laughs> right? And I was like, whoa! I was like, okay then. And uh, while I was in there, though, the guy working there was like, he saw me looking at different stuff, and he's like, hey, have you picked up uh the Captain America Shield? That we have. And I don't know if you remember when we had our shop, they had like a life size Captain America shield, like replica thing. And it was like 200 or 250 dollars. And I wanted it so bad. And oh, yeah. They can run around be Captain America. Yeah, right. So they put out a newer one that is not made. I think the original one was like metal. Um, This one's more, you know, uh, honky tonk. Um, No, it's. (laughs) It's fingers are work. Right. This one's a little more I think it's plastic, but it, it didn't feel like cheap plastic. It felt fairly sturdy. I mean, probably not actually fight with it sturdy, but you know. Um and it it's like a hundred dollars. That's not bad. No, it's really not. And it's again it's like actual size. Um so the guy asked me and I'm like, man, I wish I'm like if I had just a random hundred dollars, I would totally own it by now. I was like that in the infinity gauntlet. Because they made an infinity gauntlet that, like, the fingers bend and move and everything, you know, that's pretty. That's pretty great. Pretty sweet. Um, and he I'm goes, surprised they don't have a Hulk hand. That's the Infinity Gauntlet. That would be interesting. You know, you know, they might have. They have made just an Infinity Gauntlet thing. Um, that's like a twenty dollar toy kind of thing. Right. But this other one's like, like it looks more like gold. It's got the gems in it. It's it's pretty badass. Um, nice. but he goes, no, he's like, I mean, did you pick it up? And I turn and he's lifted the shield up cause they had it hanging on the wall. And I'm like, no, I haven't. And he's like, do you want to? And I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> that was your opportunity to bounce it off the cash register off his face, yeah, back to right. your arm and run out the door. I mean, shouldn't I empty the cash register too? Good point. I don't want to be greedy. The shield's enough. 
That's true. Yeah. So I, you know, put the shield on my arm and, uh, it was funny because, you know, it's like the logical part of my brain goes, this is a piece of plastic, whatever. It's cool. Okay. But then there's the geek side of me that's like running around screaming, you know, because I'm holding Captain America's shield. Oh yeah, for sure. It's an icon of comic books, you know? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So it was weird. Like I, I got, you know, like actually felt myself like kind of giddy about it. <laughs> so You're ready to fight like, uh, you know, the, well, I completely forgot what Bucky turns into the winter soldier. I was like the Russian soldier. <laughs> that's power red. Isn't power it? red. Yeah. No, that's only, <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that was, I was, I, as my brother and I left and I was like, boy, I was like, you know, if I had random extra hundred dollars, that guy would have made a sale right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it sounds pretty great. Cause like looking at yeah, it on her see, wall, you're like, that's cool. But when you have it I on your you, arm, you know, you see that mirror behind me on the wall. Yeah. That should be a Captain America. I deal. agree. It should be totally. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Someday, maybe some, right. probably not. I mean, I just have the mirror over there to make the room feel bigger. Yeah. You just just paint that mirror like Captain America's shield. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. Ignore the fact that I don't think it's actually round, is it? Doesn't it have It's not edges? round. It's yeah. like uh, some sort of satanic symbol. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know how many edges it has, but it's definitely, you know, not round. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That was, that was pretty cool, though. I was, you know, like I said, it was... Just one of those moments that, you know, make you feel like a little kid again, basically. So, Oh, yeah. I love, I love those moments, honestly. Yeah. Me too. You don't get as many of them when you're an adult, you know? <laughs> I know, right? Maybe okay. we're, we might be doing the adult thing all wrong. Yeah. I mean, I'm not finding Thunder Tanks at rummage sales anymore, so, you know. No. No. I mean, I could have looked. There might have been Thunder or Thundercat Underoos, maybe. I say some Thunder Pants, maybe. Yeah. Thunder Pants, yeah. yeah. Thunder now we get pulled off of YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So I was looking at some stuff earlier about um, the Joker trailer, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, oh, geez. Okay. But I saw a thing on uh, was it Comic Book Resources? I think it is. That uh, yeah, here it is. Um, there's going to be a Batman prequel series called Pennyworth. So it's about what Alfred in the SAS or whatever. Um, uh, or know. it's just about money. What's the Pennyworth? I don't know. Yeah, I believe it's. Ah, here we go. It's a uh, drama series will be a 10 episode long and focus on an early twenties version of Alfred Pennyworth. Pennyworth. A uh, recent SAS veteran who opens a security company in London during the 60s. Employed by oh, Thomas the Wayne. Swing in the 60s. Yeah. He's going to like Austin Powers. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Employed by Thomas Just Wayne. Alfred slinging dick. Well, I mean, that's what he's known for. That's what he's known for, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Employed by Thomas Wayne, the series will explore how Alfred became such a trusted ally and protectors for the Wayne family. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, do you ever feel like they're just trying to milk anything out of everything? Yes. Like, what <laughs> else can we do? I mean, we know Gotham was a total bust, but what else can we do? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll be I mean, honest. I, I'd rather watch Pennyworth than <laughs> Gotham. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you there. Yeah. I just It makes me just wonder, like, like what's next? If there are, it's going to be the Waynes, but it's not about, like, even Bruce or Tom, it's about his father and how they made the fortune, like, you know, probably in terrible early American ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like, what else are you guys going to do? I mean, it happens, you know, what are you going to do? That's true. I accidentally shut my browser down. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I'm glad I didn't shut my browser down because we would stop streaming. Yeah, that's... So I have to read. Or maybe anyone watching would be like, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> probably. That That's probably more accurate. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. So it, um, it was interesting, though, because like I said, at first blush on that, I was like, eh, and then, you know, it's like reading that just there. I was like, eh, you know, I guess, you know, 
That, that could be an interesting story as long as Alfred's a badass in it, you know. Uh, he probably will be. I'm just glad that it's not like centering on Alfred going through like, you know, butlering school or whatever it's called, you know. Right. Because it's like I don't want to watch him learn to buttle, you know, like yeah, buttle. <laughs> like let's no, let's not do this. You know, you want like Alfred to early years when he's in boarding school. <laughs> yeah. He's wearing a little short pants and stuff. Well, getting whipped on by the principal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm good without that. You know, like how far back do we take this Alfred this Alfred story? Yeah. They probably, you know, fleshed it out a little bit like that. They were probably like, well, you know, if we go too young, he you know, he can't be that much of a badass. Right. But he's gotta be young enough that the children will wanna watch. Was the, you know what, was there ever a uh I know they don't call them Else Worlds anymore, but like an alternate timeline in DC? Where the entire Wayne family gets killed and Alfred becomes Batman? I don't know. That's a good question. Because that would be amazing. If not, let's write this. <laughs> yeah. I like this. He's, idea. Like, he's like a take no prisoners SAS Batman. All right, I'm in. Just fucking up people, stabbing them in the neck and stuff. Wow, right in the neck, huh? Yeah, doing that like stab like right down here. It's like <laughs> instant kill or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that special forces stab, you know? Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, that's the kind of stab he would do. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. So yeah, right. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure SAS actually stands for stab and stab. (laughs) I think. Right. I'm no expert, but it sounds classy as fuck because someone British is saying it. You know. Yeah. I don't know the SAS. Just you know, or stab and shank. Right. Yeah. Whatever their preference is. Yeah. Stab and slice. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, because swinging 60s, shag and shag. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, like I can it. only hope. Yeah. I, I I would definitely like to, I would definitely like to read that story. Yeah, right. <laughs> of Alfred during the swinging 60s. Now, here's what I'm thinking, is it needs to be during a time like that he's in between the SAS and becoming the butler for the Waynes. You know, right? Like you know, he's just kind of trying. He's just feeling out the world, just you know, he's, seeing what's he's, out like there. He's got the big beard. He's got long, long hair. Yeah, you know, he's like, like he's he's just microdosing acid all the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because he's just trying to figure out who he is, man. Yep. And that's when Thomas Wayne comes in, and they start, you know, talking. He gets the job there. He's got to, you know, clean up his, you know, his look and everything. So. Tom, maybe Thomas Wayne and Alfred were secretly lovers. That's probably true. I mean, that's why Iron was a butler, so he could always be nearby. <laughs> Alfred, run a bath for me. Yes, sir. Oh, man, that would be something else. Right? Yeah. And then, and then, uh, Martha and Thomas Wayne get killed by a jilted lover. Alfred or someone else? No, someone else. Oh, okay. Cause, you know, because it was, it was Thomas's X Man. Because oh, it's all in the well, DL, though. We gotta be careful with the X Man thing. Uh, Wrong <laughs> company. Wolverine. Yeah. Hey, bub. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. ah, God, it's a mutant bear. Yeah. Wolverine thing. <laughs> Remember, it was an otter. What are they called? <laughs> Little muscly furry guys in the gay world. I don't even know. I don't. No, I think otters are like the skinnier. Small guys. Boy, so we're getting this is getting nutty. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. That's... So Alfred and Thomas were lovers. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets shot in an alley by an ex boyfriend. Yes. Yes. I like that. And then he turns into uh, you know, swinging sixties Alfred. Swinging sixties Alfred, yeah. exactly. Yeah. He's got that shirt. Shirt on, it's got, you know, instead of being like buttoned down like three buttons, just like a big heart shape that's cut out of it. So oh, you see geez. all those delicious furry chest hair. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Way too tight slacks. Oh, for the tightest. Stupid tight. He makes the, the skit with Steve uh, Martin and Dan Aykroyd look like they're wearing loose britches, for sure. Exactly. Or like they're is, wearing pajama jeans. Dude, here's a callback to one of our episodes. Their slacks have no slack. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, you can see the vein, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You're, like, looking at his pants going, well, I see he, he waxes. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, boy. Yikes. 
Yikes. Elvert in the swinging 60s. <laughs> Man. All right. So I keep looking and I can't, I can't seem to find any story where he, I mean, there's times throughout the years where he's put on the cowl, you know, uh, to, to pull the old okie doke on a criminal or something. Maybe just runs around the house and pretends. Oh, I'm sure he's, he does. He's like jumping on furniture and stuff. He just wears the cape and cowl in his in his tidy whiteies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Running around doing his Batman voice, you know. He he puts on the cape and cowl, you know, logs on the chatterbait. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the bat cave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bruce's, How many coins, Daddy? <laughs> Bruce's phone lights up. Someone's like you know, like, hey, um, I think Alfred's in the back cave. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, go to his link. Yeah. Just see his uns- Alfred doing unspeakable things. Yeah. It's like, damn it, Alfred, not again. Jesus, not all, oh, not all over the Robin costume. <laughs> God damn it. I just got the blood cleaned out of that. Son of a bitch. <sighs> and it dry cleaned. Yeah, that happens. It happens. Damn it. Yeah, I think that'd be interesting, though, if the, all the Waynes got killed and Alfred became Batman. I think that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. I See, agree. we're geniuses, Brian. I'd, Genius. I'd read that. I actually, I, I really would read that because I think it'd be very interesting. Just like there's the, you know, the storyline where his parents become, uh, Bruce's parents actually become uh, Batman and uh, the Joker. Like his mom becomes right. the Joker. Yeah, that's, a, that's an awesome storyline. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. There's so much to do. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, years ago, I would say it'd be cool for like Commissioner Gordon to have, you know, become Batman at some point. But now he has. So, you know. What? Yeah. For a while, Bruce had like amnesia, basically. And the city still needed a bat. So he wore. So so they got a retired cop or whatever. Well, I don't know if you remember. We talked about it on the show about the bunny suit. (laughs) Oh yes, I yeah. do remember that. He wore like the big robot costume and whatever. Yeah. <sighs> God damn it, DC. Yeah. Speaking of goddamn DC. Yeah. That trailer you made me watch. <laughs> uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh Tony's referring to the new Joker trailer. The one with uh, Yeah. What's his name? Joaquin Phoenix. As the Joker. Um, I know it's just a trailer, but I thought the whole point of trailers to get you excited about a movie. <laughs> it is. You weren't excited? No. Yeah. It, it, get, it actually kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. That's understandable. I The reactions I've seen for it are very all over the place, which, you know, whatever, it's a, it's a pretty short trailer. So, you know, my first thought was, okay, well, let's see what else, you know, like what comes out in the second trailer, basically, you know, right. Because they don't give you a lot of story in this one. No, you know, so, um, although I've asked everybody who, that I've talked to about this though, what, how much of, um, you know, like a, on a scale of a hundred, what what's the um, over under on how much time he's actually the Joker in the movie? Right. How much do you think I mean, out of a hundred? Oh, like last twenty minutes of the movie, maybe. See, that's and that was that's what I've been saying. It's kind of my fear is it's going to be like um, the Hulk. Remember, we're like he's not the Hulk until like the last twenty minutes of the movie, basically, and it's like, yeah. oh, come on. So I'm hoping it's not like that. Um, I was saying, um, like, to me, it felt, I was telling Fluffy Bunny Ash this last night, I was like, it feels like an art film. Like if an art film or a, a, a film student made a Joker trailer, that's what it feels like to me. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but right. that's what it feels like. Um, she mentioned, and I've seen other people mention this too now, <laughs> Um, that it remind that it's got a uh, taxi driver kind of feel to it. Yeah, it, it does actually. The way he his character is kind of Travis Bickle, you know. So, right. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. Like I dug the scene where the guy like smashed a clown in the face with a sign. Yeah. That was kind of cool. <laughs> like, yeah, right. fuck you clown. Yeah. But, and honestly, he didn't look bad as in like the classic no. Joker outfit. Yeah. That I, I actually. Prefer that to uh punk rock Joker. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know? I I actually liked the the way the costume like he looks in the costume and all that stuff. I and I thought his his laugh I think was good. Um yeah. You know, cuz that's always important about the Joker. Is you got to have a good laugh. Um But I just I I don't know. I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe there needs to be another trailer. Yeah, I hope. Well, there will be. Um Well, yeah. Would you sure. would you think of the scene of him dancing around in his tidy whities? Yeah. <laughs> I think I could have bought a pair of those at the rummage sale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No thanks. Yeah. Um, Ashley, I mean, buy tighter, buy tighter drawers or do some squats, bro. Right. <laughs> Looks like you had a load of duty in there. It really did. Those things were baggy. Yeah. Um, Ashley made a, a point that I hadn't considered. It was a really good point that um, she's afraid that the way this movie is is gonna, what this movie is gonna do is set up people to feel sympathy for the Joker. And you shouldn't. The Joker should be seen kind of as like chaos, evil. He's yeah. he's not right. You know, like he so if they give us a reason to feel sympathy for him, I and I I think they're doing the character a great disservice. Mm, I can see that. Yeah, it's fair why enough. I never wanted a Joker origin story, you know? Right. It was like with no. Wolverine, you know, how it was always like, oh, we don't know anything about his past and whatever. Or they would just do like those occasional Weapon X flashback stories. or And those were cool. I dug those. But then when they decided to do Origin, I was like, eh, you know, like, yeah. I wish they would have just left it alone. Now we like, all know I, his name's I James. I didn't need to know he was a sickly child or whatever. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, so, and I kind of feel the same way with the Joker. It's like, I like one of two things. Either there's a, there's the potential that the Joker isn't just one person. That it's right. a various group of people who've at different times kind of, you know, been the Joker. Yeah. Dread Pirate Robert. Right. <laughs> um, or that we just don't know his history. That way it's that we don't know what drives him, what his motivation is. I think that makes his character like un more unpredictable, you know? Right. Is if you know I don't know, whatever, if he's always chasing a laugh or whatever, you know, but he's killing people to do it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I get it. Killing yeah. it. Yeah. Killed uh, that crowd. Uh, right? Waka waka. Yeah. So Yeah. I don't know. I <sighs> I tried really hard not to just immediately be like Mm, about the the trailer and i'm not overall like there were a couple things about it that i'm like okay this has potential but then underpants scene <laughs> yeah that was pretty bad uh yeah yeah i don't know i mean i don't know mate yeah i, I wasn't terribly excited about the trailer and maybe it's just they're not showing enough you know what's weird to me is uh, i've seen quite a few people um describing it as like haunting or disturbing and i'm like is it like i don't yeah i don't i didn't feel that way maybe it's because i i know the joker character right you know i don't maybe they don't fully maybe they're still thinking of jared leto joker i don't know yeah, the Takashi Six Nine Joker. Yeah, <laughs> the I wish they would get rid of him from existence, Joker. Yes, the please don't let this be canon, Joker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Mm. So on a, on a a lighter note, mm, you don't say. I mentioned this to you already, but I'm going to talk about it for a second. Um, I saw they announced um that uh. Netflix is uh, doing a Cowboy Bebop live action series. Right, right, right. Yeah, and uh, it looks like they cast John Cho, who most people will know from. Uh, uh, shit, I can't think of his name now. <laughs> Damn, it, Brian. And I'm trying to see if the character thing says. Um, but anyway, he's playing 
Um, uh, geez, I forgot the character's name. Man, I am just a mess. Spike Spiegel. There we go. Right. Um, and it's also got um, Mustafa Shakir from Luke Cage. Uh, Daniel Pineda and Alex Hassel, I guess, are like have all been cast for it so far. Um, and it looks like most people seem to be really excited about John Cho cast as Spike. Really? And Pin- I don't know if it's Pineda, Pineda, I don't know how, whatever her name is, but she, she's Faye Valentine in it, which I've also seen people are pretty all right with. Right, right. So she'll be... I, I was looking. There's no release date for it yet, <clears throat> but I just there's thought, something about like live action animated. I just don't feel. Yeah, it usually doesn't translate well. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of it's because like you can't do the expressions that they can do. You know, uh, right? Like, how many times do you see someone do something and there's a you know their eyes get massive or whatever or you know, like, Hoy? yeah, speed lines yeah. behind them. Uh, yeah, it's just sort of weird twinkle in their eyes and a pupil suddenly disappear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm I'll definitely watch it because because I I dug Cowboy Bebop. Uh, yeah, fair enough. So, and you know, once yeah. again, shit. Sorry, Netflix trying to to get in on on all that stuff. Man. Well, do you see? Um, Netflix is crazy. Yeah, crazy. Netflix be crazy. Yeah. Netflix be crazy. They have a movie out right now called, I think it's called The Highwaymen. Okay. I yeah, I think I know what it. you're talking about. Yeah, and it's it's like, uh, it looks like it's about Bonnie Clyde, but it's got uh, Woody Harrelson in it. Yeah. And, and Kevin Costner. And what's her name from Misery? Uh, Kathy Bates? Yeah, that bitch. She's in it too. It's got all these like, like class A minus celebrities. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, God damn, Netflix. Yeah. And I, I watched a, a nice little nice little chunk. I know you and Heno talked about it, of uh, Love, Death, and Robots. Yeah. I'm not through the whole series, but I really enjoyed the three-robot one. Right? I did, too. And I know that's yeah. one of the ones that a lot of people have, have tagged as weak. But I thought it was funny. The animation's amazing. And it was just – it was it was fun more than yeah, anything. It was, it was a nice little – I mean, it was the second one, so it's kind of like, but compared to the other ones I watched, it was like a breath of fresh air. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after yeah. that first one, you need that that type yeah, of... Yeah, I, I, I really I really enjoyed that one. What would you think of the third one, The Witness? That was cool. That, like, um, you know, man, I love Michelle, that animation. We're, Michelle and I were watching it, mm. and it was like, uh, we're, we're both kind of like, oh, it's a loop. Uh, this has been done before. I'm not going to give away the end, but yeah. you're like, oh. Yeah. They, Oh, 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 I see what they did yeah. here. I, the animation in that was freaking amazing. Again, it, you know, if you like the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse animation, you'll dig it because it, like it's cell from the shading situation. Yeah, because I, I almost kind of feel same like studio. they filmed it and then animated over it. It it kind of felt that way because the movements felt too real. Yeah. But again, like if you look at the animation from the Into the Spider-Verse, it's very much like that. Is it? I yeah. haven't seen that yet. It's the studio. I haven't either, but just from the stuff I've seen, it's the it's the same studio. So it you know, oh, fair enough, makes sense. They're consistent. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, I I just thought it was really you know, like I thought the story was cool and the um the animation was my favorite part of it. It was just like crazy. So far of the ones I've watched, least favorite is the Planet of Farmers with Big Macs. Yeah. Because I just kind of felt. Oh, like I'm it sorry. Was like I was so. getting confused earlier. Well, uh, that's the one I actually meant was one of the ones people um, see as one of the weakest ones. Yeah, I just felt like that yeah. was like okay. So I want to have Max shooting things. Yeah. Oh, farmers! <laughs> <laughs> I just I. The, I thought the characters I thought were good. The char- Yeah, I enjoyed the characters, yeah. but all in all, the Especially whole like, the... situation, I was just like. Yeah, especially the the neighbor guy that was crazy, like having oh, to yeah, right. you know keep basically like we were talking earlier about the car, you know, just basically hitting his mech with a, a wrench until it worked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was pretty funny, but yeah, that was. Have you gotten to the one with the woman in the space station yet? 
I don't think so. Okay. I won't, I'm not going to say anymore. I don't want to spoil anything. We'll have to talk. I know you'll want to talk about that after you watch it though. All right. Um, so. cool. Yeah. I got some, I got some stuff I need to watch. I got to finish that. I want to watch the dirt. I want to watch that highwayman thing. Yeah. Like, you know, I got a whole, it's a whole situation going on really. Yeah. Well, stop yeah. spending so much time rifling through boxes of boys underpants and get to work. Bro. I have my needs. <laughs> you have to keep fill, feeding your eBay store, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly right. By eBay, you mean dark web. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. I saw them as for sure used underwear. <laughs> <laughs> because you put them on and then sell them. <laughs> oh, for, yeah. yeah. Dance around. Yeah. I got good by horses playing. Oh, well, of course. Of course. I mean, it's, it is the song to dance around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. It's tradition. Tis. Tis tradition. Uh, well, I was just looking. I That's all I got. You got anything else? Uh, I, you know, I had one thing, but it's not that important. No. Because so, I'm looking at the time, and this boy's got to go, go to bed because I got to wake up in like five hours. Oh, Jeebus. All right. Yeah. yeah I know, right? All what right a bummer. You son of a... Yeah. All right. Well, uh, as usual, you know, we'll uh, uh, thanks to anyone who watched. Uh, thanks for everyone who listens and, uh, you know, head over to salty Uh, all of our links are over there. Um, you know, we usually run through the socials and what have you. Uh, but we're also, you can at salty You can, um, check out the networks we're part of, uh, like, uh, tangent bound network, which can be found at tangent and, Danger! Watch your back! Danger! Entertainment, which can be found at Denner. Denner. Jeez. DangerEntertainment.net. <sighs> Denner Entertainment. <laughs> I mean, that's the network I'm actually working on right now. Uh, Denner Entertainment in, co- in conjunction with uh, um, Yeah Boy Studios. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know. Shit. Oh, 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 see, oh. Feels. yeah, boy. Ooh. Yeah, there that was loud. Uh, so, yeah, go check those networks out. Uh, you may find some other podcasts that you're interested in. Um, yeah, and again, uh, you can find our show on Twitter at salty underscore language. You can find me at Stunami. Uh, you can find me at Monotony, a.k.a. Monotony. Uh, I for sure follow Salty Language Pod on YouTube because I think yeah, we're going right. to be doing this. There you go. Yeah. You know? And we'll try to, you know, see if we can't um, put a time out a little sooner than right before. Uh, yeah, but it was very last minute. Whatever. But, you know. That's how we do things. We, we're like, you know, we're we're like um, like flash mob type stuff, like gorilla shit, you know? Oh, that's, I mean, we don't even know the temperature to pool. We're diving in yeah, head exactly. first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, we're stupid sometimes, but whatever. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, well, but uh, I'm hoping to have a slightly better look for our next episode so you can maybe see some of the stuff we're talking about. All right, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know. Like hot nudes, yeah. Oh, the hottest of nudes. Well, because I'm going to mount the under-the-desk crotch cam. Oh, finally. Oh, right. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> finally got the macro lens. Yeah, finally can use that short robe. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Got to get a kimono from Dev. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So, all right. Well, uh, as, you know, usual here, uh, I say have a beer, you'll be fine. Yeah, uh, uh, stay salty and, uh, you know, thanks for for watching us live, anyone that watched us. Yeah, and um, keep shucking oysters. It's good for you. (laughs) Gotta get the poison out, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like... uh, it's like a power red, but not. <laughs> it's power white. <laughs> power white. <laughs>